Yes, it's on yeah. the blacktop. Okay. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody to another episode of Towers and Gods. Let me go ahead and play the music here. It's been two weeks and I, I couldn't wait for this episode. Welcome, super happy to have you. Welcome to the stream. If you're new here, Towers and Gods is D&D plus Tower of God. And as always, I'm joined by my amazing cast. We have Isaiah as Blazer. Yo, yo, yo. We have Milios as Boris. Don't introduce me like that. <laughs> better. It's a regular. We it's a regular Sun, session, Eden. We uh, new as Cal <laughs> Silvers. Yeah, yeah. Don't wear out my name. Get that four percent, though. <laughs> we have Hannah as Stexa. Guys, come on. We have to work together. And my webs are getting pretty cool. Just saying. And other Joe as Bulwark. There is no one left who could possibly challenge me! I shall rule the land with my strength! <laughs> oh, Bulwark, just as, just as ever. Same as ever. Uh, I wasn't I joking. Was <laughs> I was 100% serious. <laughs> So welcome everyone. Uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, you you watched the last episode. As we left off, um, Stex's team uh, we had basically you know you'd pass the test on the seventh floor, and uh, despite some some crazy difficulty, Stexa you were able to pull the team together. Um, Blazer was able to hit like a shot, which was crazy. Um, you gotta watch the episode; it was nuts. Um, he rolled in that twenty; for, it was crazy. Um, but now you've arrived on the eighth floor. You've been here for a few days already, and the the terrain is fairly straightforward. Um, the area that you are in is sort of rocky, kind of mountainous, right? Um, but also, uh, there's a beach, and there's a, a seaside shore, um, and some cottages and the like, and there seems to be a large gathering of people here. And you'd spent time on a beach previously, but it was kind of... This is different. It's it's not as nice. This isn't where people go to uh, to bask in the sun, right? It's a place where you see people fishing and the like, and there's a restaurant nearby. And we're gonna start with you all at that restaurant. Uh, you're about to place your order, and uh, you are right at the counter. So we're gonna we're gonna pick up there. Ugh, I hate sand. It's rough and coarse, and it gets everywhere. Bulwark, we've talked about this. Look, it, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get a room. We're gonna get some food, and and we're gonna we're gonna push through this next floor. We we did really well on the last floor, right, guys? If you can call it that, at least Blazer hit a shot. Well, it um, was about time. Look who's talking, Mister Two Percent. It's three point seven. You know what? Never mind. He's not skim milk. Ugh. He's better than that. Guys, guys, if you're gonna milk. fight, just fight! Go on! We're, we're not fighting, yeah. we're ordering food! Did you even look? Oh wait, Bulwark, can you not read? Do I have to no. order for you again? Yes. Okay. I'll have the chicken nuggies. You want, oh, you want it with chocolate milk this time? No! Oh. Regular milk! Okay, okay, regular milk. It's a lot healthier! The person at the oh. counter saying, oh, you're holding up the line, man. No, sorry. Sorry. Uh, he wants the chicken nuggets and milk. Um, um we're currently out of the chicken nuggets. I apologize. Oh, no. Uh, Bulwark, do you have any other ideas? Please don't tear down the restaurant. <laughs> Please. We can't afford to pay for another restaurant. 
I'll man. just have the... I'll just uh, well, have I'll have the special. Then... Well, I'll have the special. Whatever your special is today. The special? Okay, we have an offering of crab. Uh, so Perfect. Fries on the side. Does that sound good? Perfect. That's um, great. Five orders else? of that. Five, five orders of the special? Yes, yes, yes. Everyone, no. team, let's go. Surely, I'll not take the a big plate of french fries, extra fries, thank you, for the and reaper. I, and I want big utensils for my big hands! Uh, one at a time, please. So, so, sir, and motions to Blazer, you said extra fries? First of all, I go by the reaper now, okay? Well, the Second of all, reaper. Reaper. yes, right. cow, the reaper. Thank you, I am big and quite bad. Thank you for noticing. Oh, no. And he's almost killed people too. Hey, yeah. I kill I totally killed one person. Just 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 let's By just accident. order. Everyone, everyone, let's just order. Now Blazer, the extra fries would... will cost extra blazer. Or, sorry, the Reaper. <clears throat> uh, I hope that is acceptable. Um and then you, sir, and she motions to Boris. What was that you were saying? I don't want fries. <laughs> what I want is to be stronger than any Ari and show them our might. I want to show them how we could be like the REA. Put his fries on top. I'll take spaghetti. Fries. Wait. <laughs> yes, but huh? That's an option. Oh my God, he's been like this every floor. Ugh. What did okay, you say? No shot. No for everybody. What? Here's it's the, the Reaper. Can we all just Guys. listen to Stax and get some food? I'm hungry, and this isn't going anywhere. So long. Please. Four orders of the special, one with extra fries, and then an order of spaghetti. Yes, please. All right. That will be 45 minutes. We'll have that out to you as soon as we can. 45 right, minutes? 45 minutes? Oh. Wait, wait, let's, just, let's just go to a table. Come on. Come on. She's glaring uh, at you. I'm and sorry. She looks behind her, and you see one of the chefs is a huge member of the poly eyed race and you notice these <gasps> giant muscles and he turns around and glares at all of you oh was there any trouble no that's what i'd like to hear thank you next okay guys there's a table over by the window let's go get it i want to fight the big man no bulwark you you, you can't like fight everybody we just please can i fight the big man stexa please Bull bulwark Bulwark. We just Dexa, got done we got fighting. 45 minutes to kill. We Let don't him fight. No. Guys, we don't even have to fight him. Just get me a table in the back and I'll, you know, take Miss. care of him from there. Uh, is that what you mean? I swear to God. You are hopeless. That is the last time you insult my amazing shooting abilities. I'm and still waiting to see. Suddenly, while you're having this argument and this discussion at the table, an old man walks up to the table and he's wearing like this sort of straw hat and he approaches you and says, e excuse me, uh, uh, do you all happen to be regulars? Clown. Uh, yeah. We are. Wonderful. Well, and he motions over toward the beach side. You see a bunch of people casting lines. Would you want to participate in our fishing competition while you wait for your food? Yes. Yes, we would. The Can angler is quite the rare fish, but whoever catches it earns 50,000 points. <gasps> 50,000 points, you said? 50,000? Okay, it's free all right. to participate. My I mean, that's chump, that's chump change for me, but you know, I'll participate anyway. I mean, okay. I don't know if you guys want someone like the Reaper participating. That might skew the competition a little bit, but Look, you know, if it's free, the, I mean, what? The old man looks around at the Reaper. Who who would that be? Uh, it's oh him. Oh my god. It's him. If I have to explain this to another random stranger like I've done the past you, 50 times, well, you lose it. explain it to us. Maybe if you killed people and had a menacing air about you, people would believe you. How about I start with you, Mr. 2%? Oh, I'm so scared. Fight, 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 fight. I'm going she to kinda... assume. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. She kind of grabs Blazer and Cal by their collars and like holds yeah. them apart. Let's let's just go fishing. This oh, just come on, Spectre, let me at him. Thing. This punk, I'm so tired of him. Blazer, please. You know what, Mr. Reaper? If you can catch this fish before me, maybe I'll accept you. Oh. Okay, I accept your challenge. Uh, 
Whatever works. Let's Easy go. Money. Well, follow me then. Do all five of you follow? Yes. 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 Right. yes. You leave a little marker to, to show that you still have the table, right? The table is yours and all of that. And he takes you to the beach side and he hands you each a fishing rod. And he teaches you a little bit about the lures and he tells you that this one in particular is perfect for finding the angler. And uh, he just shows you where you can line up. And uh, you notice the waves are a bit rocky, you know, a bit of a windy day. But uh, according to the old man, perfect for catching the angler. And uh, yeah, you line up. This could really help jumpstart us on this level, especially mm -hmm. if it costs as much as it did the last floor. This could be really good. Hey, only one person can win the money, and that's going to be me. Don't be saying anything about sharing. I think you mean it's going to be me, but I appreciate you with that little boost of confidence there, cow. But it's funny that you both need the money. I'm Anari. I don't need the money. I'm filthy rich. Oh, is Bori's uncle giving him more money again? Don't call me Bori. Only my uncle can cause me Bori. How about we just throw Bori in the water here and call it a day, huh? If you ever think of putting a hand on me, I shall chop both of them off. Now watch yourself, Blazer. First of all, the Reaper, thank you very much, doesn't have to put a hand on you, okay? I could hit you from a million miles away. The only thing you can reap is the floor. Now shut up. Uh, I'm going over here and I'm going to fish. Keep it down. I'm having a peaceful moment. <laughs> it says the big oaf who was embarrassed Just by- Just your lines and she throws her- All right, her cool, cool, cool. All five of you, Make an animal handling check. Oh! oh boy. Send you something I... in our private chats. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be like, yeah, what are my stats? You know your stats. Come on now. Oh! I, I like have only fishing. the best of stats. Mm. I'm sending you right. a little something to keep in mind. I mean, yep. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, that is what you would add. Got it. To what? <laughs> uh, to your D20 roll, animal handling. Ah. This is the most important rule of your lives. Make it count. Oh, I made my count. Okay. Go ahead and just announce your rolls. 23. Nine. Three from Stexa. I also got a nine. I got a 10. Nine, 10. Okay, Boris and Bulwark? Three. Three and a nine. Okay, okay. So all of you are fishing, you know, some of you are kind of messing around, not taking it as seriously, right? But then, suddenly, Stexa, you remember that you actually studied fish uh, on a previous floor, the third floor. You look, were waiting around, you were looking in the library, and there was an encyclopedia entry on the angler. And you remembered that contrary to popular belief, they like to hang out in shallower waters, although their colors uh, sort of camouflage them. So many fishermen make the mistake of casting too deep. You remember that, and you cast your line in the shallow waters. So far, there hasn't been a bite. Okay. Fight me, fish! I am ready for you! Uh, a fish I wouldn't fight you, you big oaf. Hey, I uh, think Mr. Straw Hat Man, are you sure there's, like, actual fish in the water here? Oh, there are plenty, but that bait is specifically for the angler. Mm. And suddenly, Stexa, you feel a tug at your line. <gasps> oh! And it's pulling with great force. Oh, crap! Oh, I jump no. in the water and start punching whatever <laughs> is there. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I'll help you. I'll help you, leader. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, <laughs> so, uh, Stexa, make a um, an athletics check. Okay. <laughs> and Bulwark, the waves are pretty tough, so I want you to make a con saving throw, and I'll tell you what to add. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. There you go. All right. I got a 15. Okay. And then Bulwark. You got a 12. Okay, so Stexa, you're struggling with the line, but you are starting to reel the fish in slowly. Uh, it's approaching you more and more. 
Um, but then you realize that as it's getting closer to you, Bulwark is braving the waves, no problem. And Bulwark, you have reached the fish. And you see start, it's flailing around. I start punching the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Make an attack roll for me. Go ahead and add that same number that I sent you. Oh, That's a 21. Oh, nice. <laughs> God, he's going to nice. knock everything out. Okay, roll a d8 for damage. <laughs> that fish did. Yeah. Do we need to catch it alive, though? Nah, not really. Uh, six. Either way, we roll it on the ground. Okay, and we're going to add three, so that's a nine. Okay. So, Stexa, you're getting super excited as the fish is approaching you. Everyone else, Blazer and uh, Boris and Cal, how are you reacting to this? Uh, Blazer just yells out into the water. Bulwark, bring the fish over here! Okay. I will okay. pound it into silly putty! No! What? I'm just gonna drop my line and see how this plays <laughs> out. Okay, okay. <laughs> Boris? Boris, uh, ghost. I could have quit that fish if I wanted to. <laughs> so, Stexa, right as you almost managed to reel it in, uh, you were so focused on it and, and you heard the sounds, but as you reel the fish in, um... You, you, it's a big fish. It's, it would have been beautiful, but it is just like in pieces by the time you reel it in. Uh, you know, Aww. it's it's just like completely ripped apart. Your line is all messed up. The fish is dead. There's blood all over. Um, it is a mess. It's quite the mess. Oh my God, Bulwark! What the heck, man? Did I do good? <laughs> No, you big guy. Oh. You destroyed. You destroyed Stex's chances at actually winning the competition. Hey, wait, no, no, Good no, job. no, no, And more importantly, our chances of getting paid. We might get. Oh man, yeah. we caught the fish. Here it you... is, and she holds it up like in the like couple pieces. <laughs> okay, it, like a part of it looks like it's about to fall off. But you kind of hold it together. <laughs> oh. bring, bring it over here. And he leads you to a table. Okay. Lays out the fish. He brings out a little uh, magnifying glass. Oh my. Is it good? That is the angler. <laughs> and it's dead. I showed it. <laughs> Who's the king of the sea? So the, so the 50,000 points, right? Well, um, this situation is less than ideal. Um, and he uh, points over to a sign uh, that was on the other end of where you'd been, but motions as if you should have read it. Uh, we wanted the fish to be intact so we could display it in the nearby aquarium. But uh, we'll still pay you 25,000 points for the endeavor. Look, look, sir, I, I get it, okay? I understand you drive a hard bargain and a good business year, and I respect that. I really do. But sometimes you have to be adaptable. Sometimes things don't work out the way we plan. Now, I'm going to show you my pocket. And Blazer opens up his pocket and slides it to the old man. If you go ahead and just uh, drop 50,000 points, I and my compatriot, my teammates here, We'll be on our way. Who caught the fish? Uh, Definitely I wasn't did. him. Uh, it's not important necessarily who uh, miss, caught the motion, fish. Motion Stexa. Uh, she pulls Pops up, up his pocket and <laughs> you receive 25,000 points. So I swindler. If, if we caught another one and we kept it alive. And you notice get... there's oh. more fish. It's a sea. Bulwark. We only released one angler into the into the, oh. the, the area. It's a tradition no. around here. Once what a do you mean you released it? For the co what are we going to display then? None of that makes any sense, old man. Wait a minute, you played us. It's tradition in these parts to do this competition. We yeah, we should we, we should respect the traditions of the floors, guys. Are you questioning respect our traditions? Respect my buttocks if I don't get those 25,000 other points. And guys, guys. Lizzie, you did nothing to earn any points. I was more Guys. support. Guys, what is we should all listen to Stexa. It's it's okay. Thank you, old man. I agree with Bori, but I don't want to agree with him. Did so you just give me the me money. Why do you keep calling me Bori? Now, I hate us. Now, now, Relax, Bori. Settle down. Right. Now, now, Stexa, you all, you noticed when the transaction was completed that when his name popped up as like the the sender, his name popped up as uh, President Nobu. President Nobu. Do you now, rule this floor? No, I am simply the president of the fishing association of the eighth floor. Oh. And uh, suddenly someone comes up, Mr. President, sir. And they whisper into his ear. And this guy was wearing like old clothes and a straw hat. 
I, I must be going, but thank you very much for participating. It's always a oh. joy seeing regulars participate in our traditions. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. President. Have a good day now. You too. Bem <laughs> remember who beat up that fish, the Great Bulwark, <laughs> whose name will be known throughout the tower. Oh, okay. At least we got 25,000 points. It, it could have gone worse. <laughs> At this point, you all make your way back to the table. You sit down and you all receive your food. Well, that was a fun way to wait for our food. Don't you think, guys? Boring is more like it. But we got basically free points. So that's good. We're using those points to pay for this meal, right, Stetsa? I, I, paid, oh, for everyone's yeah. I paid for everyone's food already. Oh, well, then we can just get a cut of it then. Well, maybe I should stay in charge of the money. Well, or... leader, don't be greedy. I'm sure that Bulwark wants a new pair of shoes. Exactly. Or... A good leader would treat their teammates, you know. I, I already do bought like you shoes. food. You, and Bulwark doesn't wear shoes. He I could. Know. That's exactly why he could use them. But he doesn't like them. He breaks them. Well, if maybe Bulwark I just wants haven't shoes, found the right pair. Point. Maybe that's all I need. A well, good pair of I'm shoes. I'm sure some floor on the tower makes size 25. And then Maybe you're more of a sandals guy. While you're talking, suddenly someone approaches you. It's a young boy. Uh, excuse me, I have a question. You want to fight? Uh, uh, sure, well, what can we do for you? Uh, you notice it's a young boy. Um, looks like he has kind of like this grayish hair. Um, he's wearing like a green shirt and a yellow cap, and he says, um, I simply, I thought I'd recognize you maybe. Are you friends with the team that has a man named Wu and <gasps> a woman named Eden? Yes! We know oh, them! Awesome, I'm their biggest fan! I, I, I was wondering if I could maybe ask a couple questions? Whoa, no. whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about, their biggest fan? I'm a much better scout than that Wu fellow. So you do know him? Were you in the same well, class? I hate to tell you this, kid, but I I killed them both on the second floor. No, you did <laughs> With my muscles. I you heard got they were the, friends you with got the, the team. charity spot. I tell you whatever you need to know. As a matter of fact, I taught Wu everything he knows. Oh, you're yeah. his master. And also, no, Eden no. wishes she was half the spear bearer that I am. Guys, I killed there, them, that's though. not true and you know it. That's a shut up. So, is there any cool details you could tell me about them? Yeah, well, well they one were both time, pathetically we were doing this weak. Fear bearing class and <laughs> Eden, who was just barely struggling to get by, had to get a little help from the Reaper, you know what that's, I'm saying? And then and then stuck up. Be quiet. Tell the whole story. story. So, who's yeah, the strongest yeah. member of the team? Me. 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 Not on oh. your team, the the other team. <laughs> Me! Uh, they're all pretty <laughs> weak, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Um, I. Well, we think? all, we all have our different strengths, but you know, I, I think that entire team was really strong. They all, they all showed really great abilities in their own special fields. I don't lie to the kid. If it weren't for us, they wouldn't have passed the tests. Okay. Well, Hell, you would uh, have made it if they didn't help. There you is the one of them that I would like to fight. Yeah. He goes by the name of Frog. I don't think you've heard of him. That pathetically oh, weak I guy? I've heard of him. Wait, they have a frog on their team? What? Yeah. Wait, Wait you what? You haven't been around much. You mean the, well, the tiny little frog thing that. Oh, oh he terrifies me. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, he has his name a... is Trace Velger. Oh. <laughs> yes, that, that's. that's oh. um, uh, he creeps uh, me Damien, out. Damien's anima. His Shinway. Yeah. Kid, kid, how, how do you know so much about that team? I'm their biggest fan. But anyway, could I have your autographs? And he holds up a piece of paper and a pencil. Oh! A pen. Sure! And Stexa quickly scribbles her name on there. Stexa Webb. <laughs> no, no, don't go around telling people you got the autograph with the great Cal Silvers. It's worth a lot, you know. Okay, I'll definitely keep it a secret. Thank you all! Have a good rest of your day! And he starts to walk oh, away. Oh, you too! That was cool. Are we like celebrities? Look, I told you guys, just stick with me. 
and the Reaper will get you all the way up the tower with all the fame and fortune to spare. Uh, Blazer. I know I'm, I said the other team. Blazer, you need I, to try I, to hit more of your shots first. I agree with Guys, that. how Let's do you work. eat spaghetti with a knife? Oh, gosh. Who gave you my plate of spaghetti? I whoa, thought whoa, it was mine. Oh. What do you mean I got food? Yes, it's my food. Get, get out of my face. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, jeez. I wonder what the other team's up to. Oh. Well, I'm probably sure. something dumb. Oh, guys, come on. Just let's get along for once. I like, All I right, know. welcome oh! everybody to episode 19 of Towers and Gods. Actually, this time, we're, we're back. Yes. We're, we're, we're yeah. back. <laughs> we are back. Thank you all so much for, for your patience. We took a week off preparing for everything, but we are back. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the new opening and all of that. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna actually start the actual session. Any words before we <laughs> transition? Yeah, bro, that new opening was fire. No, it's oh, cool, so cool. Yeah, awesome. I need to run that back. Can we run that back? <laughs> <laughs> it'll it'll be available. To... <laughs> I need to rewatch it. Well, I'm glad you oh, guys liked it. Yeah, I'm so excited. Fun thing. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do one more round of actual introductions this time, and I'll go ahead and switch to everyone's character when yeah. doing so. So I would like to introduce our cast. Four years later, we have Isaiah as Jong. Oh. Hello. We have Hannah as Eden. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm back again. Ooh. Let's go. We have other Joe as Damien Frog. Oh, Damien. So Joe, scary. turn off my pain inhibitors. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your uh, cape? <laughs> we have Sun pocket. as Wu. Yay. Yay. And we have Milios as Brack Bronson. Oh, shit. Okay. Bronson. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> okay. And then. welcome to the... Gone show. <laughs> I love it. Oh man. Oh okay. <laughs> the chat seems to be uh, talking about these new designs. Yes. So um, we have new designs, which we're going to be using going forward, which is rather exciting. Um, and we'll we'll of course see what else has changed. But uh, but yeah, we're here. We're ready to begin. And uh, yeah, anyone else with any thoughts before I give the recap? Yo, hit me with those NPC know. designs though. That's right? what I was, I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait until like yeah. we see the characters and see the new designs. It's a little bit in the intro, but you know, the teams, man. You know? Is this a little showcase? Yeah. Well, we're gonna wait until uh, until we actually start oh, to see those man. designs. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yes, okay. So let me go ahead and cut that. And then we're gonna go to here. All right. So a lot of time has passed, but during that time, many things also happened. So, let's begin. After arriving on the seventh floor, Eden, Jong, Brack, Damien, Wu, and the others were all left with their own personal feelings and thoughts about their time in Artlum. Some were left feeling powerless in the presence of a hostile rancor. Others felt that their freedoms had been jeopardized, while others still lamented on Jihad's ever-rising lust for power. 
With all this in mind, Wu knew what he had to do. Wu decided to temporarily leave the party to train Leaf, telling Eden soon after their arrival. Eden agreed, and the two snuck away before morning, Wu and Leaf. Not long after, Eden informed the team that after her failures as a leader on the sixth floor, that she was no longer worthy of being their leader. While some protested, a vote was held, with Victor being the only member of the team favoring a new leader. Instead, the party had come to a new conclusion that they would be run democratically instead of having a leader. No leader was elected, and for the duration of their climb to the 20th floor, they made their decisions as a team. After one year of training, Wu and Leaf surprised their old team on the 12th floor, both of them stronger and more experienced than before. And then the eight of them continued their climb up to the 20th floor. I'm going to go ahead and just change the background here. The 20th floor is a floor that is renowned for being extremely difficult, extremely challenging. Many regulars fail their climb here. Uh, and you all heard the rumors as you were climbing. This has been common knowledge for all of you. And But when you do arrive, you arrive on a floating island. But it is not the island itself that is surprising you. It's the fact that when you look up into the sky, this massive, gigantic island is floating far, far above you. Uh, you can only see the bottom of it. You see the float rock powering it. But that is all that can be seen. But you notice as you look around... The clouds are still below you, you know, um, the islands are pretty large, and there is a very modern presence that you hadn't seen in quite a while. A vast difference from Artland, right? Uh, the buildings are mostly modern, and there is a train system on this floor where they take you from island to island. And so, after arriving there, you were not given any direction, really, uh, but there was a trail, and after camping out for a few nights, and spending some time on the 20th floor, you start to see in the distance a station with one of those trains uh, docked. And that is more or less where we're going to pick up. But if we have any questions or any other comments, we'll totally uh, get that done now as well. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're mostly good? Sounds good. Okay, so I should also mention that the islands themselves have a lot of trees, a lot of nature, um, but you do also notice that as you were passing through, um, off in the distance you notice construction being done and the like. Um, the the primary animal, or Shinwei, that you did notice, aside from a few like odd, oddly shaped squirrels and stuff, were these flying small snakes uh, called the Crystal Bames. Uh, and they are basically these long, thin snakes. Uh, their scales kind of reflect the, the sunlight. And they have these small little, like, protruding, seemingly like bat wings off of their back. Um, and they seem to be, like, flying through the air. Uh, and that that's also a sight that you commonly see as, you're, as you were traveling. I hate it here. Why flying I get rid of my snakes. Shades? <laughs> oh they my god. Fly. They're everywhere. Damien, my shades. Why did I get rid of my shades? I don't know. That's terrifying, though. How, how do they live like this? Flying snakes? The snakes are actually that. good if you kill them and fillet them. Guys, I think they're really cute. And Leaf, uh, Leaf pipes up. Oh, Lord. And you notice that over the course of the four years, Leaf has grown much older. She She's definitely grown more mature and confident through her time with Wu. And, uh, yeah. I think I think they're fine. Why can't we uh why can't we just leave them alone? I think cute is subjective. Because leave their terror to the ecosystem. <sighs> Woo, you have to get over this fear of snakes. It's not healthy. They're I a part can't. of the ecosystem. I can't. <sighs> she kinda pats you on the back. Come on, let's go. If right. anyone knows Shinwei here, it would be Leaf. So I'd listen to her, Wu. Look, I have nothing against the rest of the Shinwei, but snakes! Whatever, let's just go. I won't look. Okay. I pull out a frog. A frog flavored <laughs> umbrella. I think you're still a frog. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> An umbrella, sure, sure. And you yeah. all start to approach the station, and it's basically just one building, but it's pretty large. And what you immediately notice is that 
um, on this floating island. The train is docked, but you you notice this giant crystal that's that's uh, next to the station and sort of like at the edge of the rail where the train is parked in front of. And uh, you you notice that the train itself doesn't have any tracks, right? Has some way of flying through the air. Uh, the train looks very modern, not extremely large, but uh, yeah. And there is a, a person standing outside with a long notebook, a long list. And you approach. I whisper to Breck, dare me to eat that crystal? <laughs> Do it, little buddy. <laughs> I, I attempt to eat the to, to okay, go up to the crystal okay, and... so... no, 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 little buddy, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> and the, the, the guy steps I, in front of you. No. I hear Brack, I'm like, wait, don't do it? Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No okay. approaching the crystal. No one was approaching the crystal. Why are you even looking at us? Come on, little buddy. He he doesn't understand. And I, 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 I grab Davy about the shoulders and I like try to guide him away, looking back at the person with my tongue out going. Sure, sure, okay. <sighs> Are you all regulars wishing to get on the train? Well, speak up! Yes, yes we are. We get on the train, will we get away from the flying snakes? The, oh, the crystal bames? No, they're everywhere on this floor, at least on the floating aisles. They're sort of like our mascot, you could say. You guys have great taste. <laughs> uh, assume you're heading for Song Isle. That's the only destination that you could come from this station. Uh, you can uh, reach a number of other destinations from Song Isle. Is that correct? Like what? Like Meji, the city of kindness. Well, that sounds good. Sorry, Muji, not Meji. I've lived here my whole life, I promise. <laughs> now, please board. We only have two minutes left. Okay. Uh -huh. Good and the train it. starts to kind of make some sound. You see some steam coming off of it. All right. Well, let's get aboard. Okay. Victor kind of sighs. We can't keep doing this, guys. Come on. The crystal fascinates me, though. What do you mean, yeah, this, no. Victor? I know we've talked. Okay, you know what? Let's just board the train. It's taking us hours to make a decision. Let's go. Come on. And he, he leads the way into the train. Victor, if I you want to be charged, just say so. I well, you weren't here hours. when we made that decision. I don't know if you have any right to say something like that. I disagreed with it ever since I came back, but what am I to say? Edith can make her own choices. I, I was following him, so... Guys, enough talking. Let's just get on the train. Yeah. And Jong walks past and, like, sort of, you know, pushes past Victor and walks onto the train. All right. There's a time and there's a time and place for this, Victor. We can discuss it some other time. Yeah. All I'm saying, yeah. Victor, is that a good leader has to be able to control all of his teammates. And I pat him on the shoulder as I walk in. <laughs> he kind of just chuckles. You all walk Eden in just... and, yeah, go ahead. As Eden just rolls her eyes and takes Victor, Victor's hand and walks on the train with him. Okay, sure. Uh, he, de you know, he leads you over to a seat. So you notice on the train, the seats, there's like one seat next to another on two sides. So each row is four seats, two on one side. Well, sorry, four, I guess. Two across from each other and then two across from each other on the other side. Um, and not many people are on the train. You see like two others. So uh, where do you want to sit? I sit next to Victor. Of course. Let's let me get a window seat. Actually, no, no I don't want to see outside. <laughs> <laughs> right. Leaf pulls you over and makes you sit ne uh, next to the window. This is time for training, Wu. Uh, the last time I checked, I'm the master and you're the pupil. <sighs> Thought you told me to be more assertive. When did you get so wise? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shion takes a seat in front of, uh, Eden and, uh, Victor. Uh, Jean goes to grab a seat in the back by the window. Okay. Brack and Damien, choose a seat. Brack takes a window seat and he tries to turn the seat into a recliner, realizing that it can't move back. He yep. crosses his arms, looks out the window, notices the snakes, and is just still thinking about how tasty they look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect, and perfect. I sit, I sit next to Brack. All right. Aww. Cool, cool, cool. Best buddy Brack. 
All right. And uh, it doesn't take long for the train to start moving, but it's not exactly the train that's moving that's surprising you. It's the speed. Suddenly, doof, you start, like, shooting through the air. Um, you know, you're not, it's not, you know, maybe, like, something like 70 miles an hour. Quite fast, as you're flying by and you see shapes moving. But the islands in the distance, they're barely moving whatsoever. The clouds are, you're passing by the clouds. You're looking far below, and you see there's other islands even below you. And as you peer over as well through the windows, you notice that there's mountains everywhere below you. You see trees, mountains, lakes. It looks very beautiful, but <laughs> thousands of miles below you. Um, or hundreds of miles, at the very least. So you're just sitting there as the train is moving. May I do a perception roll for the other people on the train? Because I'm yeah. still looking for the boy that we were told about. The boy? I should mention that too, uh, for everyone watching. Uh, well, actually, I think we talked about it together, but there was no boy on the 17th floor. Dun dun. Mm -hmm. uh, 17. 17. They appear to be regulars, but you've never noticed them before. Um, one of them uh, appears to be a bit older, uh, some graying hair with a needle at his side, and the other one appears to be a young lady. Um, but nothing special about them that you notice. It's not Gion and Lake, is it? <laughs> it is not Gion and Lake, you would have okay, noticed. Okay, okay. <laughs> They're not sitting together, they're sitting separately. Okay. Why would you go and do something like that? Hey! <laughs> Don't bring up who's PTSD. He said, he said an old older guy and a young lady. I was like, wait. <laughs> there, there, Woo. It's okay. She's probably just busy or sleeping or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know those four-year long things that just keep you busy. Man, <laughs> when you guys weren't there, she texted me, alright? I don't have to message anymore, but I remember it. Very she dear. says, sure she did. We all know the truth of that. Ooh. Oh, damn! Ooh. Okay! Okay! I, 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 was, I was about I to say Jessica word, Jones vibes right now. Oh, right. right. kind of nice! Sorry, what was that? <laughs> I was about to say something to him, but then I got thrown off. Watch your off. mouth, Will. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, uh, you know what? You're right. I shouldn't dwell on it, Sean. You're right. Just like you shouldn't dwell on the fact that you haven't sat next to John in quite some time, have you? What does oh, that have God. to do with anything? I sit next to everyone. We're a team, aren't we? Ah, uh, yeah. A team. Sure. She just rolls her eyes. John kind of he, gives Wu a look and then goes back to looking out the window. Eden kind of says, mouth at him. I'm just trying to help, buddy. <laughs> Eden kind of says under her breath to Xion, says the guy that actually left the team. <laughs> she nods in agreement and smiles. <laughs> the train ride's passing. Victor doesn't really say anything. He's looking out the window uh, at everything. And it uh, doesn't take long. Uh, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes before you approach an island. And when you approach the island, you've finally sort of started to piece together how this train system works. And it seems to be that instead of a force that's pushing the trains, it seems to be more pulling the train towards the crystal um, with some kind of uh, controlled mechanism. And so slowly you approach the crystal, you slow down, and you notice the island that you're landing is much smaller than the one you were just on. Much, much smaller. You can tell even just from approaching it. And it slows down, approaches the crystal, and the doors open up. I guess this is our next stop. I don't... The two regulars get off the train. We might as well see what's up. I... okay. There's a conductor outside who says, Song Island! Song Island, get off if you wish to board. Otherwise, the train will take you back to Landing Ooh. Isle. Song Island sounds pretty good, too. Next yeah. to the City of Kindness. Well, let's go. Looks like this floor is going to be a cakewalk. It'll be easy. Don't, don't, say, don't, that don't say that. Uh, I agree with Crash. <sighs> okay. Never learn, do you, Damien? You're right. This is going to be a very difficult floor. And That's I have a the plan. spirit. And I have a plan to get us out of it. Oh, no more of your plans. What's, what's your plan, I, Damien? I don't have one because I don't have enough information. Uh, uh. Great. Just what I expect. You get off and, uh, you know, the, there's another similar station that's right there. But other than that, there seems to be 
a trail that leads further uh, into the island, but you also notice that there is a second train that is docked. You have any questions, regulars? Is this your first time here? Uh, yeah. Uh, where does that second train go? That'll take you to Muji Island. Is that where the tests take place? <laughs> no, it'll take you days to get to the testing location, I'm afraid. But Muji Island oh. is one of the bigger cities in this area. Okay. Uh, when does that train leave? In about half an hour. All right. Otherwise, you can continue on through Song Isle, see the sights, or make it to the other station at the east end of the island. Hmm. Victor just sighs. They really aren't giving us that much info, huh? No. No, no you just not. gotta know how to ask. Say, my friend, um, why is it gonna take us so long to get to the tests? <laughs> because that's how it's built. That's how we operate. I'm assuming you're regulars if you're asking those kinds of questions. And it's all a part of the testing system. Oh, there's nothing more you can tell us. I'm not gonna flash my pocket at him with a with a two thousand dollar point number on the screen. So Song Island has nothing to do with the test, it's just something to do? I'm sure you could give us a little bit more information now, couldn't you? Uh well, I mean you did remind me of a certain something. Uh Pox pops up his pocket, kinda looking around. Make the Even transaction. Though... Even though the testing system is pretty far from here, the testing bureau, there is a special exemption currently being held. And what would that be? Said I'm assuming... Sure. He makes his pocket disappear. I'm assuming you've heard of uh, House Lindquist? Yeah, we have. Yeah. House Lindquist is hosting a special sort of competition. They do it once a year. They've been doing it for about a decade now. It's a special test for regulars. And they don't live that far from here. In fact, they own much of this land. What's the so, point of this test? Well, that's a, I'm afraid that's about all I know. Uh, but I'm sure you'll hear more information in Muji. I hear they're advertising for it. Hmm. Appreciate so, you, my friend. So Song Island has nothing to do with the test at all? It's just an <laughs> optional fun thing? To... There are hundreds of islands on this floor, my lad. Song Island is famous for its singing chipmunks. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We have to see the singing chip. <laughs> I, I, it's it's that's a bit of a turn off for me, man. I don't think we should go to that. Do we really? That's have time I think we should see the chipmunks. I, I really want to see the singing chipmunks. You uh, want to think... hear the chipmunks, Brack? Yeah, I I, I have to. I, I've never seen a little fairy creature like sing, so that 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 that's up my alley. I need that. You, you didn't hear it during like Christmas time or anything? Uh, that. I, 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 I never experienced Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we just, if, you, uh... if you haven't experienced it, I guess it's an experience. Guys, I, could... I, I feel like we should really explore the uh, the special exemption. Uh, uh, well, you since you are so fond of democracy these days, let's take a vote. Who wants to see the city chipmunks? I do. Lee raises her hand. Are you kidding me? I, I don't think this is a time. This isn't a major decision that requires us to use the Democrat. Oh, answer the question. Victor raises his hand, but Shion just kind of says, "I don't care." I think we should get to Muji. Agreed. So that's three against three, four. Anybody else? <laughs> you know, Brock is four. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm against, but I'm okay with either option. And uh, with that, we're going to see the singing chipmunks. Let's go! And Leaf uh, leads the way down the trail, and she kind of stops. Wait, is this the right way, or...? Um, excuse me, sir. She approaches the man. Is this where we can see the singing chipmunks? Why, yes, indeed. Just keep heading down that way, and uh, you'll see what, uh, what Song Island can show you. 
I want to insight the check this guy so bad. <laughs> Even your insight checks, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> gotta ha it's got to happen at least three times an episode. Well, this will be the first one. That's okay, 16. sure. <laughs> um, yeah, he's telling the truth. I mean, he's like, okay. he's basically implying that, like, it's a special treat. Okay. <sighs> All right. Lead on, Leaf. Okay, let's go. She leads the way down the path. And you notice that this island in particular seems to not have been touched as much by the construction that you were seeing on the previous island, the landing isle. Um, this, this island seems to be much more uh, peaceful. You're hearing sounds and the like. Um, suddenly, woo, overhead, you see a crystal bane uh, flying above you. Maybe like 20 feet above, kind of passing over. Of course, you pay attention to that. That one seemed a bit larger behind. than the others as well. I thought I'd get behind Leaf. <sighs> okay, let's just let's just keep moving. I, I'm sure there's not that many here on this island. Uh, and you keep walking, and suddenly you start to hear this high-pitched sound. But it's it's a pleasant sound. Uh, I don't have audio, but imagine Alvin and the Chipmunks. As you're approaching the whole time, and he said singing through, I was like, okay, I know where we're going. And as you approach, you uh, you you look on your right, and you're you're on a bridge, and there's this water that's passing below this little river, and you see in the distance someone conducting, and rows of little furry creatures all making these little sounds, these pleasant little uh, cheerful sounds. <gasps> there they are over there! Come on! And Leaf starts running ahead. <laughs> Follow briskly. <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go here and waste some more time with these chipmunks. Yeah. Shion says maybe I should have uh, voted against. <laughs> and well, uh, maybe it's a little intriguing. You eventually go ahead, Brack. Brack walking behind, hands behind his back, just listening. Biggest grin on his face. He just <laughs> trying to contain his excitement as he's <laughs> listening to these chipmunks just, just say. He's just like. Ah, splendid music, splendid. And then he just ah. walks over towards the uh, chipmunks. All right, sure. Damien gives Brack side eyes, and then he looks directly into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so you can I approach the projector? Yeah. Absolutely, you, you make your way to the area, the scene. It's a nice little area with benches and the like. And the conductor, it's a, it's a woman with a long brown ponytail conducting and all the chipmunks. Um, there are a variety of colors. Uh, you know, you see some red, pink, blue, and they're all humming in tune. Uh, will I be interrupting her if I talk to her? Can you I get the her? impression that this is going to go on for quite a while. I'm just going to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how did you get them to do that? You see, the singing chipmunks innately have the ability to sing. All I do is guide them. Huh. You're not an animal by any chance, are you? Why, in fact, I am. However, I am not controlling these creatures. I train them. So you train them to follow your commands without any direct input. That's right. And it's a very beautiful... It's very beautiful music. I mean, you know, Leaf sits down and she just starts watching the the creatures, and uh, it's a very peaceful sound. You might be one of the most impressive individuals I've ever seen. What are you doing here? Thank you. Well, <laughs> and she slowly kind of brings the chipmunks to a halt, and then she walks over to a box and opens it up, and you notice in the box there's like these individual little wrappings. Uh, and the chipmunks run over to it and unwrap the wrapping and pop something into their mouth. But you notice each of them only takes one. Well, I took this job after failing the test multiple times here. And I can't I'm not imagine somebody as skilled as you failed the test here. My skills are much more aligned with something like this. The test on this floor can be rather brutal. It's amazing that I even survived. Hmm. Well... I'm an animal user too. Uh, anything you could, any tips you could give me about the tests? My team and I are planning to take it rather shortly. I'm afraid the test does change 
every interval. However, I do know this. It will always be... bloody. And you notice she has a sad expression on her face. There isn't a test that goes by that regulars don't die. I'm not scared of death. Thanks, though. Hope I get to hear your chipmunks again. Of course. Um, and she, you notice she, uh, she motions over to a sort of small pocket that rests at like a little table at the front of the chipmunks that's kind of just floating there. If you wish to donate, there that is an option. However, we do offer our services for free. Oh, Here, 500 points. Thank you very much. And when you do that, the chipmunks all turn around and start clapping. Nice. They're trained so well. I know, says Leaf. It's amazing. I've never heard of these creatures. I wonder if they're native to this floor only. Ian walks up behind Leaf. You should ask if you can pet one. That's a good idea. Um, excuse me, Miss, uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, um, would it be okay if I pet one of the creatures? And, you know, you see her nod, and Leaf walks over and slowly starts to pet. And you can tell the chipmunks just love it. They're, like, you know, <laughs> just wanting even more. And they all gather around Leaf, and she starts laughing and smiling. Uh, hey, Lizzie. May I call you Lizzie? Um, it's Elizabeth. How much? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, how much for? <laughs> Every other name. <laughs> How much for one of these little guys? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid they're not for sale. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Just need the right price. Uh, I'm afraid well, they really are not. Um, what my friend wants to know is, don't you think that uh, at least one of these little guys would like to go do something different for a bit? Bring them back. I mean, she looks over. The problem is they're trained as a group. If even one of them leaves, it would be a problem. Mm. Each of them has a part to play. Besides, I've, and she starts to, she reaches over and she bends down and they all run up to her. I've bonded with these creatures. I don't think I could let them go. Guys, you can't seriously be considering taking a <laughs> singing chipmunk with us? Yeah, let's <laughs> not. No. I mean, Brad, she has a point. As much as I would love to take one. Victor, oh. he's thinking and he whispers over to you, Eden, we could uh, make some extra money off of one of these little guys. We could probably make no. our money back pretty easily. Are you sure? I mean, it's, it's decent Victor, idea. we can barely take care of our group we as have it two, is. We have two animals in our group. It can't be that hard. And they're the most inept. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing, nothing. Eden was, uh, we're having a private conversation. He puts his hand around her shoulder. <laughs> I ask Brack, do you really want these? I want one, but if she feels that she can't part with them, as Brack just looks up, lip quivering, <laughs> I, 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 I'll just have to accept her request to decline my money. money. Wow. <laughs> I, summoned, I summoned Yuizaru, and he's playing with the chipmunks. Yuizaru? Oh, uh, sorry, which one? Yeah. Uh, Yuizaru. Yuizaru? Okay. Yeah. Yep, Mizuru uh, starts playing with them, and he's very gentle and all that. Okay. I mean, well. you could keep my monkey in exchange for one of the chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, let's drop my board. <laughs> Hold Guys, on. Don't, look, if they're if they're together as a group and a family, don't tear them apart. Whoa, what are you even gonna do? Whoa, whoa, with whoa. It's, it's okay. I'm joking. It's okay. Never get rid of Bizarre. You know that she's intrigued by the monkey, but still uh, keeps her stance. I, uh. Maybe in worse race. I pull out a briefcase and I slowly unlock it and it's full of candy bars and I say, final <laughs> offer. Oh. Damien, shouldn't you worry about um, where race is? Race Velger is a big frog. He, he is probably making enemies. You probably left him <laughs> on the other floor. I haven't seen him since we got here. Uh, no. I'm pretty sure he's here. Is he? yeah, haven't you learned by now that it's Ray's Velga that takes care of Damien and not the other way around? You're not wrong. <laughs> no, You're hang on wrong. a second. Um, you notice the lady looks at the chocolate bars and she looks up at you, Damien. 
You know, when she puts her hand on your shoulder, chocolate really isn't good for you, especially that much. That's what we've been trying to tell him. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And then she turns around and begins to start another tune. This one much more lively and happy, and it resonates throughout the area. All right, great. We saw singing chipmunks. Are you guys okay. happy? Time has been wasted. Hey, right now, before we go, let me just upload beautiful. this video to Tower Tube, and then we'll be on our way. And Ooh, can't we, we do that while we're walking? Oh, oh we're already, it's already uploading. Leaf walks over. How many subs are you at now? We How many just subs? hit 500k. What? Mm. That's amazing. Huh? I, I have no idea what that number means. <laughs> well, yeah, that's because you guys don't take our interest seriously. But me and Leaf yeah. have a growing channel, okay? That's right. Okay. We're going to be the most famous mm. channel on Tower 2. If... Guys, if we hurry, we can make the train to Muji, so... Can we get going? You notice it's been like 20 minutes. Oh, okay, walk let's quickly. go. Okay. You make your way back just in time to board the train again. And uh, before you do, though, he says, he, uh, and he motions to you, Wu. Are you sure there isn't any other uh, information that you needed to know? I mean, what do you know that I need to know? Well, my memory's a bit hazy, but, you know, sometimes it can get triggered by, uh... Sir, I you said, got him, another, I said him another thousand. Oh my gosh. I slowly open my, my briefcase full of chocolate bars again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I seemed to just remember something about this, uh, this test that House Lindquist uses. Apparently, it's a substitute for the test floor. Which, maybe it was already understood from what you said, but despite that, no regular has ever succeeded. I thought that was something you Ooh. should know. Sir. Sir. Yes, my good friend. My good man. How you doing? Brack Bronson here. I love what you do. Um, give my friend his money back. You just <laughs> you just gave us information that we already had. And I won't tolerate my friend well, getting swindled. I'm I'm sure he's more than satisfied with the information, right? Turns to you. Well, are you satisfied? Honestly, I don't control what Brack does, so you should probably just listen to him. Give him his money back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how about I tell you one more thing? Something that just poofed into my brain. Mm -hmm. Apparently there's a number of interesting individuals in Muji, including circus performers and even a fortune teller. And not oh. just any fortune teller, but apparently one that is very accurate. Really? Oh, God. How accurate are we talking? You'll recognize him. <laughs> well, I've never done it myself, but... The regulars tell me that they all, their lives were changed by speaking to this individual. You'll recognize him by his rainbow cloak. All right, so rainbow Gittles. cloak, fortune, fortune teller. Got it. Hmm. Indeed. That is all Can I know. Else, uh, slip your mind? I believe that is about it. All right. See, I'm getting old now and uh, things come and go. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for your help. I'll tell you this, another thousand credits is not about to come and go your direction. Let's go, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's... <laughs> all right, all right. You, you board the train, and uh, it takes off right afterward. You can tell, like, they even kind of waited a little bit longer just for that interaction. And uh, this ride definitely takes longer than the other one. Instead of, like, 15, 20 minutes, it's definitely closer to an hour. Um, but you're moving at the same speed. You're traveling along, and uh, this time you can see the island that you are approaching far before you reach it. Uh, it's a very large island, um, and uh, maybe probably closer in size to the one that you had uh, started, uh, you know, the 20th floor on. And uh, you also can see that pretty close to where you're about to land is a city. A very modern looking city with tall buildings, you know. Um, it all looks to be this like grayish color, and uh, there's a lot less nature on the island that you can see from afar. Just a couple of random trees and stuff. You slowly approach, the train stops, and you get off. And at this point, it's probably about like four, five in the afternoon. It'll probably be getting dark somewhat soon. Well, looks like we should probably find a place to stay. 
Are we uh, camping out for the night like last time? Says Shion. I'm tired of camping I out. I told you we don't honest. camp anymore. I think we should find food. What did you. She turns towards you. What did you and Leaf do that entire year? Camp, right? Camp. More camping. Lots of camping. Kinda nice at first. You know what else is nice is actually saving our points, but whatever. Whatever you say. And uh, you notice that there is this time like an actual road that leads to the city in the distance. So uh, Shion and Victor, they start walking. And uh, I'm assuming everyone follows. Yep. And while you're yep. walking there, you don't hear the chipmunks or anything like that, but you do hear some sounds. And uh, you see more crystal bames flying around. You know, these creatures typically aren't very big, but um, they are long, right? They're long bodies. Uh, and it's a pretty weird sight just seeing this, like, snake flying through the air. But it takes Hold maybe up. an hour. Yeah? Above the table question real quick. Sure. Um, is there a cooking skill in, in D&D? It would be... Don't make the sword down. No, yeah. The closest thing would be survival. Shice! Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Don't worry, best I buddy. My survival stat is top tier. Ooh, oh, is it best buddy? <laughs> I, I, Rack would like to take aim at one of the crystal crystal bangs in the air. All right, all right, sure. We are not doing this, bro. <laughs> we just got off the train, and you're Wait, already no, trying no. to start trouble. Leaf says we should. What, what are you doing, Brack? Food. <laughs> we can eat in the city. Come on, look. How I mean, they are. Uh, you know what, Brack? If you want to kill one of those, there's no skill. I recognize those. They used to be on the middle floor where I used to be. And those things are mighty tasty over an open flame. I want one. I use my lighthouse to help bracket <laughs> higher to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Let's just leave them to their foolishness. Yeah, we're gonna go on ahead. You can tell Leaf is visibly uh, not happy about the situation, but still moves on. I have like an evil grin as I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, as you're walking away, Leaf walks up to you, Jong. <sighs> Don't you think this is a bad idea? Yeah, but Brack and Damien aren't necessarily strangers to stupid antics, so we gotta pick our battles. <laughs> That's true. By the way, we haven't fought each other in a while. We should do that sometime. Leaf, I don't know if you know this, but I don't fight people for fun. What do you call uh, you and Shion training almost every night? Not fun. You hear that, Shion? He says he's not having fun with you. I know, <sighs> she says back. God, I hate you guys. You seriously don't have any fun training with Shion? I find that hard to believe. But even if it's not fun, I challenge you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's wrong, my boy? Scared that she might beat you this time? No, well, I'm not scared that she's gonna beat me, but I'm scared that she might get hurt. Leaf kind of ponders for a moment and you can tell she kind of comes up with an idea and she walks over to Wu and she whispers in your ear. Uh, I'm gonna send you a little message in chat. All right. She's just excitedly telling you this. Yeah, let's wait till we get some food first, but I'm... Um, yeah, yeah. I think it's a good idea. Okay. All right, Brack and Damien. So so just to clarify, uh, you're, you're, you're letting Brack onto your lighthouse, Damien? Is that what's going on? Yeah. Okay. So you float up slowly. Keep it steady, good buddy. Yep, working on it. Damien, make a lighthouse check. Whoa. Um, 17? Okay. Very steady as you rise up. And you notice there's actually multiple snakes flying by. At this point, Brack, make an attack roll. There was ever anything that I wanted, that I needed this week. I need this. Just give me <laughs> this. The this. most important roll <laughs> this week. 11. Okay. You... Prepare, 
and you throw the spear as hard as you can, and it pew, flies right in front of one of the snakes, and they pew, they scatter immediately. And they start, there's this weird, like, hissing noise that they make, sort of like a mixture between a hiss and a bark. Imagine it, because that's how it is. <laughs> uh, and uh, they, they all scatter and uh, make the sounds as they all instantly leave the area. And your harpoon pew, lands into the ground. Did you get him? <laughs> Are, are you crying up there? <laughs> no, I'm not crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay if you are. I won't. I won't tell anyone. No, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even an option, buddy. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Yeah, I gotta want go get to, my harpoon. Want me to go get Eden? No, no. Okay. Leader must never know. All, all right. I, I won't. I won't. All right. All right, I'm gonna say you eventually catch up with the rest of the group, uh, and you're you're just still walking. You're making a lot of progress, but Shion says, "How'd it go?" No Ooh. one got hurt, including the stakes. <laughs> it, 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 it 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 went great. What are you, why are you asking me? What? Hey, Brad, went great. We shouldn't lie to them. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Eden, yeah. Eden is standing by the harpoon, just looking at him. <laughs> It went Brack real looks, well, huh? Brack Are there any snakes so on the harpoon? <laughs> she pulls this <laughs> harpoon out of the ground. No. Not even a trace of blood, and she throws it back to Brack. That's because I that's because I killed it with my hands. I strangled it to death. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Leaf just goes, yes. As you uh, keep walking. Okay. Brack walks with his head down. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. You, you eventually make it to the city. And there's two guards standing outside of it, and they say, please show us your pockets, show us your identity. I, I pull mine up. We do, yeah. Yep. yep. And they start writing down your names. When you leave the city, you'll be showing the, the, the guards the same thing. We keep track of who comes in and who comes out, all part of the safety measures. All right, you move along. He writes down all your names into his pocket, and then that lets you into the city. The gates open up into Muji. The city of kindness. The city of kindness. Ooh. And as you walk in, you see that banner floating above you, just in the middle of the air, just dangling there, happily. Uh, mm. here we go. I wonder if there's a place where we can get good soup. The city itself is very large. Uh, when you walk in, it's a huge like circle, like a huge just like area where there's shops, people walking. Um, now it's not, there's not as many like random merchants as Artland, but you do notice a few stores, just kind of typical things. But a lot of the stuff doesn't seem to be geared towards regulars, it seem to be geared towards instead the average citizen with clothing stores and a market, um, you know, and that sort of thing. Um, Trinket shops and the like, but nothing that would really catch your attention uh, for the most part. And uh, you just see a bunch of roads and streets extend from this center area. Can I go find a shoe store? Sure. I've Definitely. been telling. Uh, I've been. Stax has been telling me to keep an eye out for shoes that Bulwark can wear. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. Sure thing. You find a nice looking one with an old man who seems to be cleaning the shoes. Um, he shows you a wide variety. There's like all kinds of shoes. Any size twenties? Uh, indeed, indeed. He reaches. He goes into the back. Uh, what, what design? I don't really care. He pulls out two huge boots, leather boots. How much? One thousand points. Here, let me just grab a picture real quick. Take a picture of the boots. Yep. I'm not paying 1,000 points for Bulwark. Can I just send Stex a message <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with, with the shop name? Sure, and, sure. Uh, the shoes. I love it. I love the parallel. 1,000 <laughs> points for information, but not 1,000 points for shoes. <laughs> 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 not for Bulwark. No, not for Bulwark. Not for Bulwark, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Wow. Leaf just mutters, wow. And then Victor says, so where can we find this uh, fortune teller guy? You really want to waste your money on that? Well, apparently he's someone that's kind of interesting. Mm. Most fortune tellers are scams. 
Yeah. Oh no. Victor's right. We should at least check it out. What if he's special? You never know. I too am fascinated by the by the fortune teller. Alright, y'all take the lead. Let's go together. This city looks pretty big. Let's not get split yeah. up. Yeah. And keep an eye on your personal effects. Cities like this tend to have pickpockets. That's How about this? I'll we look for the fortune teller with my observer. Uh, we can find a place to eat in the meantime. Oh, great idea. I knew it was useful having a scout in the party. What did you ever do without me? Find a place with good soup. Uh, that's what? not what the observer is for, Nanny. But I thought you were looking for places for good food. Oh, we we are looking for places for good food. I can't help you, though. I don't know. Let's figure it out together. Oh, boy. You're walking through the city, and you see various shops, but nothing, like restaurants and the like, but nothing that says soup or anything like that yet. Um, hey. But in some areas, you see regulars kind of gather up and pose. You see pictures being taken. But one thing that does catch your attention is there's a billboard. And on this billboard is an advertisement. And it seems to be rotating through various information about House Lindquist. How House Lindquist is the, the wealthy family that, uh, that has made Muji the city that it is, the city of kindness. And how they offer a once in a lifetime opportunity for regulars to participate in a special test. And they're just a lot of, you, you notice that the Lindquist name seems to have quite a strong, um, strong place in this town. Um, but eventually, you do find uh, a soup store. Can I buy clothes at the soup store? Oh boy. <laughs> I knew this was, I, gosh dang it, Joe. We passed all of the clothes shops. <laughs> I do want. Well, I want soup. The though. reference. I, I want soup. What reference would that be? Uh, <laughs> let's just get soup. Let's food yeah. first, clothes yeah. later. I need meat. <clears throat> what was that, bruh? I need meat. Meat soup. <laughs> what is this soup? <laughs> soup has meat in it. Yeah. Have you ever heard of chicken noodle soup? mean those little bitty chunks that's not me let's see what they have come on no no brack i'm sure we'll get your snake meat another time they might even have snake meat soup I hope they not. most right. definitely have that i'm sure right. Right. <laughs> brack runs into the soup shop <laughs> right before you do right before you do suddenly you are approached and it happens like in a flash it's like Phew! someone just dashes up right in front of you uh, Excuse me, may I have an interview? No. Um, can I, can no. I like check and see if you robbed anyone? Food. Um. Okay. Well, uh, my name is Janice. I'm a reporter for the sixth floor. Uh, sorry, for the fifth floor news. Um, I was simply wondering Janice. if I could ask you some questions. Janice, nice to meet you. No, get lost. Wait, and then Shion says, "Wait, I've seen you on the news. You're kind of famous, right?" Jong, remember we saw on the news. Yeah. What does that matter? Well, my name is Janice. I simply am looking for some news. And you all appear to be some very interesting regulars that I haven't met yet in town. Isn't that right, buddy? And you didn't notice this, but a dog comes running up to her, some kind of like golden retriever, and uh, tongue hanging out and she starts petting him. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? And I, I dog. love dogs. Can I pet the dog too? Of course. So this is your shtick? You just bring this dog up to people and get interviews? Jong, okay. shut up! He's it seems like it, it works. I'm sorry, Jong. I can't resist. Wow. He her hood up and steps behind Victor to the other side to get eyesight, take the eyesight off of her from the reporter. Sure, sure. He kind of just stands in front of you and kind of looks looks around. As I All said, good. my name is Janice. And you can go ahead and look at on the screen. We actually have art for oh, Janice. Janice. Oh, damn. Janice. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I take back what I was about to uh, <laughs> 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 do. Forget the dog. Forget the dog. I saw the dog. As soon as comes up, like, I'm trying to pet something else instead. He said, Janice, you very nice looking. I'm trying to pet something else instead of the dog. All right. So, yeah. Glass is my weakness. We can do an interview, but can we can we get... Can we do it over, over soup? Of course. In fact, my treat. 
And it's like everything she says, she speaks into the mic, even though you're clearly not being interviewed. Is there a camera there? Too? Is she paying for the suit? Yeah, just, you can ask me anything really? you want, and I kind of inch up closer to her. Oh gosh. Oh, you don't uh, uh, have a boyfriend, do you? Uh, and then suddenly the dog growl. just starts growling at you. This deep, <laughs> visceral growl, and he has these huge fangs. Let me roll animal That's handling. Boring, bro. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me roll animal handling. Sure, go for it. <laughs> Soothe the savage beast. Let's go. I know I got. Wait, is it plus five or plus four? Big rolls, big rolls. Whatever big your wisdom rolls. is, plus, plus six. It's plus six, dude. Jeez. What? Uh, yeah, that's a 17. My animal handling is much better. Oh. Stuff. Oh, it's, it's, oh, yeah, it's it, uh, proficiency, yeah. Yeah, 17. Nice. Um, so you're confident in your skills and you're, you're trying to calm the dog down a little bit. And the dog stops growling, but still is definitely eyeing you. And this dog seems to have a very resilient, uh, a nature that you, that's not like other Shinwei you've seen. There's something different about this dog. What's his name, by the way? His name? Uh, yeah. Why is why does that matter? <laughs> I mean, if he, does, don't if he doesn't have a name, normally name their dogs. I can name him. He has a name, but I'll tell you if we get this interview. I'm already signed up for the interview, Janice. Why do you even want to interview us? You literally don't know us. Because I love interviewing all the regulars here, especially if there's big scoops. I'm all about the scoops. Wait, this chick is crazy. What would you? Why would you think that we have a scoop? You don't even know us. I, when I see an interesting pair of regulars like yourselves, especially two from the Coon family, I have to simply have to ask some questions. Come on, follow me. And she starts walking into the shop. It makes perfect sense. I mean, you guys wanted soup, right? Might as well go. Free soup is better than good soup. What? What? Oh, 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 what? What you say, little little buddy? We're we're getting free soup. Uh, I know we're getting free soup, but you you said good. You know what? Soup. <clears throat> soup me in. All right. She leads the way into the building, and it's a nice little shop. You know, some people sitting there. She orders some soup for everybody. Um, any preferences from anyone? What's the special? Uh, what's the special? And they reply, Crystal Bame Soup. I look over I'm not eating that. I give him a wink. Uh, I say this is salving. This is free, man. Really... Get as many as you want. <laughs> Victor says, come on, we shouldn't, we shouldn't abuse this privilege. You've climbed with me for almost 20 floors and you're saying not to abuse a privilege? Oh, I'm getting as much soup as I want. You're paying, right? That is on, right. I got your name, Water, right? not wet. <laughs> you order as much soup as you want and she leads you down to a, a long booth where she sits sort of on the corner so she can look at everybody. Now, while we wait for our food, I have some questions for you. You can tell she's very excited. First of all, I just want to be straightforward. I'm a regular, just like yourselves. Uh, I'm sponsored by Fifth Floor News, and it is my job to ask you questions. Uh, is there anything I should know before we begin? Okay, good. She's like trying not to have to sit at the booth. She's like trying to clandestinely sit at another mm -hmm. table. <laughs> sure, sure. Let me switch the song to... Uh... Uh, this one, which one is it? Give me one sec. Uh, here we go. Okay, my first question. And suddenly her pocket pops up, or her observer pops up and psh, little camera pops out and she snaps. <clears throat> Who is your leader? We all just kind of side eye over to where Eden's at. Don't say well, anything. Even sitting you... at another table, she's like, don't look at me, don't look, has a hood up. I'm looking Back at y'all. I'm not saying anything. Brack gets, gets happy about the question that was asked, especially because he has the soup. And he just says proudly, gleefully, oh, leader is over there. And he points directly towards Eden. Oh, so you're the leader. <laughs> come on, why like, don't you come sit with us? Face pull me so hard. Just like, <laughs> ah, dang it. Uh, and Victor's sitting with you as well, just um, over at a different table. 
And Shion and Leaf just kind of look around. Mm. Well, what a strength of prac. That is fantastic to know. My next question is also pretty simple. Um, who was your favorite instructor on the second floor? Oh. Bracken looks at her like, how you know we was on the second floor? <laughs> We're on the 20th floor, Brack. We all went to the second floor. <laughs> Yeah, we've never been on the second floor before. <laughs> we that one. Really. <laughs> Look, Lovely suspicious. <laughs> Jan is between me and me. <laughs> I loved all my teachers on the second floor. And especially Brooke and H1. But I have to say my favorite teacher was Mama Scopio. And H1 sure was my teacher as well, but Mama, Mama Scopio, I'm not sure he'd appreciate being called that. No, no, make sure when you when you type this up, you put the Mama in the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Capitalize Mama. Got it. Yep. Hmm? Say my... you want Scorpio to know it was him. <laughs> <laughs> my next question is, were you present at the Artla Massacre? The what? Oh, 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 no, 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 we were, we were not there. <coughs> uh, that was something that was <laughs> You'll need to ask our agent about that. We, we do not, we do not condone violence, nor have we been a violent organization ever in our lives. <laughs> As a legal represent uh, representative of the group, I am, uh, gonna have to say we cannot legally answer that. You are a legal representative, I see. Interesting. Well, I'll keep that in mind. And my last question is this. Are you gonna take the House Lindquist test? We're not sure. We don't really have a whole lot of info about that. Apparently this evening, uh, one of their spokespersons is gonna be giving a sort of demonstration and talk about the test in more detail. I recommend you check it out. It's pretty interesting. Where can we find that? In the city square, the central square, where you walk right into town. What time? 8 p.m. What time is it now? Currently, pops up her pocket. 6 p.m. Uh, we got time. We got time for soup. Excellent. Well, and then she suddenly stands up really suddenly. That's all the questions I had. Enjoy your soup. I hope wait, you have wait, a wonderful wait, day. Wait, 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 Janice, Janice, before you go, just in case, you know, we have any more information to share, let me get your number. I will definitely take your number in case I have any other questions. What's your number? What kind of professional doesn't have a card? I do have a card. Let me have it. Um, and uh, the, her her dog starts to growl a little bit. Not roll persuasion. Yes. Oh, it's a sixteen. I don't even know what my oh persuasion is, but plus three nineteen. Damn. Well, I don't normally do this, but here you go. And she hands you her card. He got them 17 digits. Good job. Make sure, to, uh, make sure to contact you if I find out any more information that might interest you. Wonderful. You all have a wonderful day. Enjoy the soup. And even hold though she's strategically Dana. waiting until the observer turns off, she's going to catch her before she leaves. Okay, okay. Brack? Brack goes, uh, Janice, before you go, mm -hmm. I have the scoop of the century for you. You know, you like scoops, mm -hmm. right? You know, big scoops? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you go all the way down here, you make this right, make this left, go there, uh, uh, you'll find a lady that has the most amazing singing chipmunks I've ever seen in my life. I mean, granted, they were the first ones that I've ever seen, but they were they were fantastic. Like, oh. they were even harmonizing together. I asked her for one, but she didn't want to give me one. But, you know, yeah, yeah, Believe you should me, go over the there. singing chipmunks are known in Muji. But thank you, sir. I appreciate the info. Well, mm. I'm going to take off now. And uh, she starts to leave, and then Victor says, hey, 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 uh, <clears throat> miss, and the camera does uh, stop. There, it disappears. Uh, we had a question for you, uh, if that was okay. Uh, he looks over at you, Eden. Uh, my teammates seem to have recalled seeing you on another floor, um, talking about the uh, second floor walkout. Do you have any information on who actually left the second floor, considering you asked a question about our favorite teachers on the second floor. She has, hesitates for a second and says, oh, I like you guys, why not? And she pulls up a chair. Well, according to the information that I have, don't take me at 100% face value, 
but apparently Brooke, the wave controller teacher, uh, no longer works there. Who was the second? Well, apparently Scopio Balrock was reinstated into the Jihad army and given a promotion. Oh. That is all I know, though. Everyone else, I believe everything is about the same, although they are implementing it's some new rules into the second floor, apparently regarding regular and ranker relations, but that's all the information I have. Oops. It's my fault. Oh. <laughs> I hope you're going back to the army. Interesting. Well, thank you. That's all I had. Wonderful. Take care, everyone. And she dashes out, and uh, her dog follows after. Bark, bark. Interesting. And you all get your soup as well. Ooh, Steaming yes. hot. And nice big bowls. I put my finger to my thumb and I ate, I ate the soup and I say, good, good, good soup. <sighs> oh boy. I'm not eating the soup, so I'm going to go look for the fortune teller, bro. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Are you going to like do it now, like while they're eating? Yeah, I'm just gonna send the observer. I'm not really gonna Oh, do right, right, right. Okay, make an observer check for me. <laughs> that wasn't great. Uh, eight. Eight, you said? Okay. Yeah. The observer shoots out, and uh, you start tracking it on your pocket. Seeing the, the footage that you're seeing and all that. Leaf just He's is slurping it up. This is so good! I told you, little one. You should have let me kill that one outside when I had the chance. No, I mean this, I did kill it. This amazing <clears throat> broccoli soup. It's it's incredible. And she broccoli. <laughs> they have different flavors of soup, Brack. Eden kind of rejoins the group now. Okay, okay. Victor sits down too. Didn't you know she's a vegetarian? You've been climbing with her for what? Four years now. She's a carnivore. She's eating her own kind. <laughs> oh, Brack. <laughs> No. Cannibal. I said cannibal. I was about to say oh, something. No. I, just no. like, oh, I just look at Leaf. I'm like, no, she, she got it. Well, I mean, I know, Victor, you wanted to find this fortune teller, and I think, woo, that's what you're up to, but this meeting at 8 o'clock, we should probably be there. Oh, we definitely have to be there. But we got time to kill until then. Okay, just wanted to put it out there. So, it, you know, by the time you finish your soup, uh, Wu, you don't find the fortune teller, but you do pick up a conversation. I mean, there's like observers, like, it, it's a normal occurrence for this to be happening, but you hear people talking about the fortune teller and you end up finding the location. Uh, it's in a very remote area of town, kind of on the outskirts a little bit. If we go there, will we have time to make it back to the meeting? You should, yeah. Well, guys, I think I found out where the fortune teller's at if you want to check that out real quick. All right. Okay. Let me just finish my good soup, and then Why? we can get out. Is there any reason we're going to do this? Other than waste time? Right. Sorry, more time? <laughs> so sorry that the two of you are so against fun. I wouldn't necessarily call a fortune teller fun, but... I it's interesting. That... We haven't... Why I mean, is it, it that everything has to be so serious with everyone around here all the I time? Know. Eden, he, he, uh, Victor whispers over to you. Come on, this could be valuable information. I, agree I don't know if Victor. you know this, but fortune tellers are nothing but scams, all right? And us Thank trying you, to climb Paul. this tower, the only thing that matters is getting info on this test. This um, fortune teller is not going to help us. Let me guess, we're going to do another vote. Look, uh, we don't need to do a vote. Look at me, bro. Listen, do you think, and I know, actually, don't answer it the way I know you're going to answer it. Just answer it practically, please. Do you think I do things for no reason? Whatsoever. Yes. <laughs> Told you to answer. You never. Never mind. The point is, <laughs> while this might be interesting for me, there's a reason I want to go do this. So can you just trust me? Is that too much to ask? Yeah, we've basically spent a whole day doing nothing. What's one more frivolous trip? We could have you guys go to the meeting instead. And we can go to the fortune teller. No, we can make it back for the meeting. It's not that far. I mean, we do have like two hours, so I think we could potentially squeeze in both. I'm sure it'll be okay if we hurry. Don't spend a lot of time dilly-dallying. 
I think if anyone is ver like very much against going to the fortune teller, they don't have to go. True. This doesn't need a vote. Yes. Who's going to the fortune teller? And Leaf raises her hand. No, I'm I'm oh. interested too. Victor as well. You already know I'm going. So. Rack yes. will stay behind and uh, monitor these bowls. <laughs> Who uh, got the crystal bane soup? Um, <laughs> Very I just good, Rack. <laughs> no, if you still have any um in your bowl. <clears throat> yeah, here you go, buddy. We should Thank split you. up in this city. If we're gonna go, let's just all go, and then whoever wants to participate can go in. Is that fair? Oh. Leader oh, spoke. Oh. <laughs> but 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 but. Victor but, on the arm. Stop it. But 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 leader, you're not leader. It's supposed to be a vote. <laughs> what a I mean, sentence. What suggestion? It doesn't mean I'm the. I already. I'm not the leader, guys. Just, what Eden saying makes it. sense. Leader or not, let's just follow it's it. It's just logic. <sighs> Brack asked for some to-go bowls so he can go with them. For the first time, for the first time ever, I have sympathy for Eden, and I actually pat her on the shoulder and I just kind of shake my head and walk out. Mm, okay. I mean, I don't think we have to worry too much about getting jumped. It's only like six o'clock. Fine, fine, let's go. It's Let's just pretty. go to this stupid fortune teller, but don't get mad if it's a huge waste of time, which I know it will be. Okay. And everybody funds their own points. <laughs> you Here. all end up leaving the shop then together. You made the decision. They give you to-go bowls and, you know, with packaging and stuff. And uh, you leave the institution. And it takes you probably a good, let's say, half an hour to reach the outskirts of the city. You know right where to go, though, Wu. You lead the way. You pass by some people, um, a, a fair amount of regulars. You can just clearly tell they have weapons and the like. But overall, it seems like a pretty nice town. Um, you know, makes Artlim look uh, a little bit worse than it already did. So you approach the outskirts and you see a, a small crowd seems to have gathered. And you, they're kind of gathered around something. They're all looking down. Um, it's another like small little square area. That it, Sashion? Seems to be. She just All looks right. around. We 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 going or? Let's oh, just go let's on. Go with the fortunes, right, or whatever it is you want to do. Is there like a big lineup? What's what what is the crowd there for? Well, let's find out. And as you approach, you sort of try to gather around. It's a pretty big crowd. Uh, maybe like thirty people, just kind of tightly watching. But you do end up. Uh, joining the crowd, and you see an individual. An individual that you probably would not have expected. And he's sitting upon the ground, um, and someone is there, and he seems to be holding their hand. And there's just silence all throughout the crowd. Eden whispers in, in Victor's ear, Why does this person give me Fluxvolk vibes? They're hooded. Lux folk would never wear. Nah. It's such a colorful scarf. True. Oh, you don't know. Those empathy lessons might be sinking in. Hey, I Damien. When's the last time you heard from Flux Volk? Um, I want to say fairly recent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fairly recent. But, little buddy, messages. you just told me that you heard from her Wednesday night. I Yeah, I, I did. Oh, Okay. Hey, congratulations, Damien. I don't well, approve, sure. but... And then someone says, shh, quiet! Mm. Oh. Jeez. And the person whispers something, but you can't quite tell what they're saying. But the person that's, that's touching their hand starts to cry a little bit, and they back away, and they, they seem to be crying even more as someone embraces them and they go back into the crowd. Oh, gosh. See, this doesn't seem like Flux Volk's MO, you know? A Flux! Damien, do you not remember the second floor? Yeah, but she doesn't care about anyone else but us. Hey, there's only one way to find out. Damien, go get your fortune read. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I would love to. 
you you okay you make your way forward and the person i, I raise my hand i'm like ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> me 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 pick me <laughs> me me me, hey, me 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 you can't just we have reservations for this kind of, and then the person says no come forward please A very soft spoken high pitched voice I, I laugh. I laugh in the face of the person who said there's there's reservations for this. <laughs> I'm like, okay, ah! okay. <laughs> okay, you make your way forward and he motions for you to sit down. I sit down. He reaches out his hand. I reach my hand out back. His cold skin, nothing like Flux Valk, but cold skin... Mm-hmm. Encloses around yours. I like your and... scarf, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't respond. You. <laughs> and he kind of inhales slightly. You. You. You're. You're a monster. I'm sorry, what? You're a monster. Repeat that louder. (laughs) You're a monster. And why would you say that? And he starts sniffing. And you... You smell like frog. Oh, I could have told him that. I whisper that to Victor. (laughs) (laughs) Brock in the crowd just says, Lick him. (laughs) (laughs) I look at Brack, I'm like... (laughs) I'm shaking my head. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, you, and his words are kind of just back and forth, and you can tell he's very in the zone. You lost someone, didn't you? Wow, well, shocking. Whisper, whisper to Victor, I also could have told him that. <laughs> hey, hey, I hey, did. Let's, well. let's, let's listen, let's listen. Hmm. I did. And you're trying to find them? I am. Your father? Pain? That's right. Don't let the monster ruin you. And he lets go of your hand. Yeah. We'll see what happens. And I walk away. Hey, hey Victor says, hey, what, what, I mean, dude, was he, what, would you call that good? Or was he acting? I, was he I think, you? Like, I think he seems yeah. legit. How did he swindle? Man, did he even ask for any points? I'm getting my fortune told. I'll hop in there, Woo. Please, come forward. Oh, let me get this. Let me get this straight. This is free. If you don't the crowd just kind of starts out. chuckling and laughing. He reaches out his hand. Well, by all means, take my hand. They enclose around you. What can you tell me, oh mystical fortune teller? He lets go, and his head kind of turns slightly. That that is all for for today. That, that is me? all for today. But you didn't tell me. It's like what already? Yes, that is all. Please. Well, I guess you guys are right. It's a sham. Wait, and his voice speaks up. The eight of you. Could I please speak with you? Here we oh, go. Here we go again. Always us, isn't it? Our time isn't cheap. What's your, we have, what's your offer? Do we have, wait a second. Do we have time to talk to him? What do you say? It's like Looking six at my at pocket. Point. Six oh, okay, yeah, we're we good. Got time, we got time. All right. I would ask that sure. everyone else please leave. Any stands up and starts to slowly walk over to a little uh, side street that doesn't have many people. 
Right. Shion says, why are we doing this? This, this is obviously a scam. He's trying to make us pay money. Jong starts looking around. Perfect place to get jumped. And Leaf says, but he didn't, even he didn't even charge any money. Let's give him John, don't money. act like you're scared of being jumped. Let's just go see what's going on. I'm not scared of him hurting me. I'm scared I'm going to have to hurt him. What's so bad about that? Yeah, Shion goes, aw, getting kind of soft. He <sighs> seems pretty harmless to me. And I'm interested in what he has to say. Well, their first words yeah, of course were, you, you are. were a monster. I don't think that's necessarily, like, the nicest thing to open with. No, that was what made me intrigued. That seemed pretty accurate to me. So, huh? I'm Wait, gonna go. Is that really how you think of me? I love you. Oh. But, uh, you know. Anyway, let's go. I, Leaf kind of punches <laughs> you. Uh, Ooh, come on. <laughs> I was under the impression that he was just talking about Harry Swoger. I thought that he was saying that Horace Vogel was in him because we all know that he's a little monster. Well, that's not wrong. <laughs> Please. And he, he, he sits down in this little, like, alley. Eden's keeping her eyes on everything above and below and the sides. Sure. I'm being friendly. I'm giving him, you know, the time to speak. I welcome it, in fact. Tell us what you need to tell us. I but I say it I say it really cool sounding though. You know. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> There's something unique about you. I've never sensed something like this before. He's just sitting upon the floor, his hands together. Can I trust you? Are you serious? About, we don't even know you. No. The question is, can we trust you? About me? I'll... I'll introduce myself. And he slowly lowers the hood. My name is... Sil Young. And with that, we're gonna take our break! Oh, of course we are! Of course oh, we are! Stay looks. tuned! <laughs> Stay tuned for what the return. You look pretty dope. Enjoy the memes and art. That's pretty cool. And then we will uh, we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. And ta-ta. That design was pretty legit. The oh, you lucky you really cool. I gotta go to the bathroom, bro, because that was dirty. That was perfect.
The cartoon's finished, Ren. Would you like to see it? Consultant, I say, don't talk to the press. <laughs> I mean, well, welcome back, everybody, to episode nineteen. Play, the memes were fantastic. Mm -hmm. I actually forgot. To Wonderful this, so job. Plant that there. Yes. Also, we were talking about how apparently the Towers of God's wiki has been altered. So, <laughs> shout out to those people. Uh, it's only, I'm assuming it's going to be limited time, so, I mean, hey, shout out to the people who were in charge of the wiki. Go check out uh, what that was all about. We're talking oh, about yeah. that. Y'all are some hard workers, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, shout out, shout out. Memes and I'm, a regular, I'm a regular user of the wiki, all right? So, <laughs> You can personally vouch for it. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll just hop right back into it. Um, we'll join the Discord if you want to submit your own memes and fan art. But, uh, yeah, I think we're all set. You're in an alleyway. And this person has just introduced themselves. Now, when you see this individual, and he actually reveals his face and his features, you realize that despite his sort of gaunt appearance, um, he does appear to be rather young. Uh, 
just despite the way he acts and just despite the features a little bit. But you can tell um, that he is still fairly young. And uh, he blind? when he looks up, you notice that he's not looking at any any one of you. He's just staring straight mm -hmm. ahead. He's blind? Blind, green hair, young boy. Okay, okay, okay. No. It was a really great scarf for a blind man, I must say. <laughs> You can't do you, see. Do you, do, you, do you say that, Damien, or is that Joe? No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you said it. <laughs> so, what is it you wish to talk to us about? Who are you? Who are you? What I'm trying to figure out. My name is Sil Young. I'm a regular who is climbing the tower. And but you I'm... just read people's fortunes in your spare time? Yes. I was born with a gift, and I use that gift to try to help people. How does it work exactly? I don't even know myself. It didn't seem like you could tell me anything. No, I... I don't wish to peer into you any more than I already have. Is that a what good thing? Mean? Is that a bad thing? No, that's perfectly vague. I think you said you're dark and icky inside, Boo. Hey, man. Don't judge me. <laughs> Just because I'm thinking about a certain Lady Lake doesn't mean that I'm dark. And inside. Janice, and H1... No, Janice is a media contact that we can leverage for information. Right, right. <laughs> leverage. <laughs> right. <laughs> Leaf. Anyway, so what you were saying? Yeah, there's just a silence and Leaf says, so why did you want to talk to us? There's... The flow of your Shinsu is not like anyone else I've read. I would like to read the rest of you if you wouldn't mind. Any volunteers? Victor says, sign me up. Gives him his hand. And gives him a quizzical look like, okay. And you notice Sillion kind of tilts his head. Yep. Oh, no, I was going to say, Brack has dealt with one witch. He doesn't need to deal with a wizard, too. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. You... You don't have that... that special Shinsu that I was sensing before from the others. Victor just says, ouch. You hate your family. Hmm? And you're... You're traveling with someone that you despise as well. Oh. I'm sorry, that's all I can see. Do tell, Sillyong. That's all you see? You don't see I, who? I wish to speak to and read anyone else similar to you two? And he points right at Wu and Damien. Ooh. Well, you haven't told me anything about what you saw from me, so I can't help you. Ja <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brack, I'm not doing it. You know you want to. She no, Brack, actually. You. Come on, what? Oh, come on, not you two. Okay, we're learning information, right? You don't have anything to hide, right? It's not the point. It... Hey, yo, Jong, just do it, man. I mean, you violate everyone else, you know, with your Shinsu ability by giving them a kiss. Just let him grab your hands and stare into your soul. It's that easy. Come on, man. Actually, I haven't gotten a kiss yet, but I'm waiting to get injured for one. All right, so Young, <laughs> let's get this over with. Grab my hand and read the fortune already. <laughs> I, I put away the chocolate bar from my <laughs> chocolate bar briefcase. 
<laughs> David's like, this is gonna work one day. Okay, he, he slowly takes your hand. I... I'm sorry about your mother. Did you just say? I'm sorry about your mother. Can Zhang, like, rip his hand away from the... from Se Yong? Yeah. But Where did you get that information? Answer me! You can tell he's kind of taking it back a little bit. And Leaf says, Jong! Your Shinsu told me. Oh, wait, so you don't want any money or anything? You're just gonna say these vague things and... You are one of them. You have the same... What are you talking about? You're rambling now. You, and he points at you, Eden. Mm. Please. I'm good. Thanks. Hey, Brack, you should do it. I'll indulge. This... Jong, so, hold up. Was, was was that attached to, you know, that vision we talked about? Like, was that why he trained you? Was because what happened there? No, it's nothing, Brack. Just what? forget about it. What, oh. what, are, what are you... Okay. What? Uh, Brack just walks over. Let's just in. let Brack have his turn. Oh, Brack walks over. One one bowl of soup in his hand, <laughs> as he's just kind of just sipping from it, and he just holds out his left palm towards the guy. Yeah. Goes, go ahead. Look into me. Tell me what you see. He slowly takes your hand. I see happiness. <laughs> Life, uh, you seek perfection and truth. Ah, that sounds like me. But you are not perfect, and you do not know the truth. Get off me! Get off me! <laughs> Unhand me! Who's this man? Get away from me! <laughs> but you do have. What is this? And you can tell he's like his mind is spinning. This isn't normal. And he's just deep in thought. Oh, uh, Silyong, it looks like you've been working hard all day. Uh, maybe you should get some rest and maybe we should go. Here, have a drink. No. And I hand him my gourd. No, thank you. Oh, I do know that your gourd has special you don't properties. Drink? What are you talking about? I just offered you a drink. No, thank you. Fair enough. This guy... I just turned to the rest of the group and I was like, this guy is crazy. You said you read our Shinsu. What does that mean exactly? Ever since I was young, I've been able to... see things. Colors. It's complicated. Colors? Does my Shinsu have a certain color? They're not the colors that you think of, but the colors to me. Oh. You can't see, can you? No. Have an affinity for necklaces? When you say that, he kind of jump starts a little bit. I'll let you touch me if you give me the necklace you have. He swallows. I'm not going to do anything to you. It's just a loose end I want to tie up. I can't accept that offer. What's so special about it? Now you see him start to panic a little bit. Dude, still young. I'm not going to do anything to you. If it means that much to you, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I was just trying to tie up a loose end. And if it means that much to you, I'm not going to do anything or say anything. She kind of she kind of shakes her head. 
I... Here, I'll give you a sign of trust. And she puts her hand out and sits down. He slowly takes your hand. Hell. You are so very, very angry. More than anyone of your special too. So we keep being told. Your Shinsu isn't like the others. And he lets go and starts talking to all of you. It's, it almost feels like it doesn't belong. Mine specifically, or everyone? All of you, except for the Kun. What about Shion and Leaf? And he reaches out his hand again, and Leaf reaches out. He smiles. For the first time, you've seen a smile. You have a kind soul. Mm. And he lets go. And she says, that's it? <laughs> yes. And then when Shion reaches out her hand, he holds it. You are free from poison. You are free from toxin. But you wish you weren't, don't you? And she pulls away her hand. What the hell? But no, the two of you are natural. I didn't think you guys were right. Might have been wasting our time coming here. We See, got a meeting to go to, Siliong. If you could just uh, get to the point. You don't want my necklace? Look, if it Ian. means that much to you, it's fine. I'm not going to spill I, I, your secret. I, I, no. I'm curious I, to know why you have it. I, I, Eden kind of puts his hand on his shoulder to calm him down. Hey, it's okay. I don't care. Do I? Do you? And you can see his eyes start to water a little bit. I'm not going to put your hand. <laughs> Just tell us what happened. Something's... I don't read Shinsu well, but something's up. What's what's going on? She... I, I'm sorry. Could, could we talk another time? Absolutely. Take all the time you need. I would not mind speaking to you again, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Kind of like puts an arm around his shoulder, give him a half hug. You want us to make sure you get back to wherever you need to go safely? I'll be all right. Thank you. Okay. We don't have time to escort him. How do we find you? I'll be here tomorrow. All right. Do you have a pocket? You said you're regular. Yes. And he puts up his pocket. Eden sends him a thousand points. Just no, take care really, of I... Hey, dude, it's fine. Just take care of yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. And he slowly stands up and turns and walks down the alley. All right, let's get to this meeting. Oh, I always waste a time while yep. you guys are preoccupied talking, and I whisper in his ear, "I don't know what your deal is, but I don't trust you, and you're going to tell me what you know." Are you like stopping him, or is this like as he's leaving? I just, I just say it to him, and I let him go. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. He just continues to walk after hesitating for a moment. Mm -hmm. And Leaf says, "Well, um, he seemed like a nice guy, at least." Yeah, he seems like a. A person just trying to make their way in the world. All right, let's get to this meeting and figure out what this special test thing is. Um, 
Shion just says, I'm probably gonna um, find a place we can stay. You guys go ahead. Well, you okay? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that wasn't convincing. Something that I'm not really willing to talk about. That's understandable. Hey, if she only says she's going to find us a place to stay, she's going to find us a place to stay. We'll meet up with you later, all right? At least let's pair up so we don't go into this giant city alone. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Shion? Leaf says, no, no. I'll, I'll go with Shion. We'll be fine. Yeah, I... They'll okay. be fine. Well, yeah. let's get to the meeting. I trust right. them. Let's go. All right, they head off in a different direction while Victor joins the other five of you. You make it back, and by this point, a much larger crowd is formed than the one that was gathering around uh, Sil Young. And it's about five minutes to eight, and there's even chairs laid out, like a row, rows and rows of seats in that city square. Um, and uh, you also notice that in the square, something that rose, must have, it, it appeared there, it wasn't there before, but there's a fountain, and there's lights around the fountain. And there appears to be a woman uh, holding something, some kind of like flag it looks like, or a staff with uh, something adorned on the top of it. And she's holding it into the air, so it's a silver statue. And uh, everyone's talking, and uh, there's a little stage that's been set up, and there are empty seats near the back. Well, see what this is all about. Eden takes a seat at the edge of the back row. Sure. I start oh, yelling. Good. I start yelling syndicate business as we take our seats. <laughs> <laughs> syndicate business. Syndicate. Syndicate business. business syndicate business. <laughs> yeah, syndicate yeah, business. Yeah. Can I yeah. just do a lap? Make a hole. Make a hole. So what was that? See, can I do a lap and see if I see anything suspicious? Yeah. yeah. Uh, make an observer. Check. Observer check or like I'm not well, gonna, I'm just gonna do it physically. Oh okay. Roll perception then. Uh, uh, and that's a one. Let's just forget about oh, it. Oh no. Ooh. We're so safe. Yeah. We're great. We're distracted. Whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> spotted Janice. It's good. You got the one out the way now and instead of in combat. We good. Mm. That's right, that's, that's right. True, true. Eventually someone walks up onto onto the stage. And someone who's wearing a business suit and tie, and they look very fancily dressed. He's got black hair. Welcome, everyone, to the House Lindquist Test Detailed Information Night. And everyone's kind of like looking around. My name is Zojack. I'm going to be the one providing you with all the information you need about this test. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about House Lindquist. They are the ones who helped found this beautiful city. Lady Signe Lindquist, motions to the statue, our wonderful, wonderful lord. And someone kind of mutters when he said that. Lord, Lord Signe. <clears throat> now, this test is held once a year, every single year, but not a single regular has ever passed. Now, normally, this strange, mysterious test cost a million points for a team to participate, but... And Victor chuckles as well. But we're providing you all with a once in a lifetime opportunity to earn a rainbow ticket. And he pulls a rainbow ticket out of his suit. This isn't real. Don't, <laughs> don't get any ideas. <laughs> and the crowd all starts whispering. This rainbow ticket will earn you a spot in the house Lindquist test for free. A team of up to 10, 10 or less can participate. However, to earn this rainbow ticket, you have to best a certain challenger, a certain individual. Please welcome Goliath! And a huge individual, like 15 feet tall, slowly walks up onto the stage. It appears to be a man with four huge muscular arms. Uh, and like this black tattoo that runs up his arm and all over his body. Just like this line that appears up his arms. And he stomps onto the stage. And he has this menacing face, kind of distorted. Goliath would be your opponent. Whoever bests Goliath can earn a rainbow ticket to take the test. But I warn you, 
We selected Goliath as our champion three years ago, and he's never lost. And this person just looks around at the crowd. <sighs> One person stands up in the crowd. I'll challenge you! And then Zojax says, whoa, 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 slow down there. Tomorrow night, we'll be hosting the fight of the century at the Christian Fighting Ring over on the Christian Isle. Anyone can participate, but I warn you, the fight will not be easy. But if you do win, the rainbow ticket is yours. House Lindquist is rich, famous, and they promise you that not only if you take their test will you get to ascend to the 21st floor, but they will also grant you any wish that you desire. <laughs> Isn't that what the tower is all about, folks? Isn't that what it's all about? And everyone starts cheering and clapping. Hmm. Can I raise my hand? Okay. Well, yeah, really quick, Brat. My fine gentleman! <clears throat> uh, does that any wish include if, you know... <clears throat> no. No, 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 no. Here, with the syndicate, we do not speak in unknowns. We speak in absolutes. When I win, <clears throat> can I bring my friends up to the 21st floor with me? You absolutely can. A team of up to 10 may participate in the test. However, I do warn you, the test, I don't even know the details, is not for the faint of hearted. So, uh, this fight against your quote unquote champion, is this a one on one bout? This is indeed a one on one bout. Hmm. Interesting. And there's only one rainbow ticket to be had, I take it. That's right! One rainbow ticket, and it's not this one. Please don't, <laughs> don't get any ideas, anybody. If we did, it would have been snatched already. <laughs> Just to confirm, because I heard a rumor, this house Linquist test isn't the only way to take a test to make it to the twenty-first floor, correct? <laughs> of course not. Not a single regular has ever passed house Linquist test. If you'd like, you can travel for days to reach the testing bureau across no, all the floating no, no. islands here. I'm but sure, Goliath is as strong as you say. He slams his fists together, and he creates oh, this like, loud sound. Mm. He looks weak. Well, I mean, technically, we have the chances to Brock do just it. laughs, one chuckles one. with Wu. <laughs> what he said. Can a member from... Can a member from each team fight? Does it matter? Does it just it doesn't fight? matter. However... Fantastic. If you do end up challenging Goliath a number of times, we will have to start charging rates. I hope you understand. Uh, depending on uh, your That's situation. Perfect. That won't be perfect, necessary. Right? Any single person from our team that challenges him will win. We actually have a special announcement to make, folks. Keep your shirts on! But we have someone special here to say a few more words about this test. Please welcome the beloved, the heroic, the incredible Leif Lindquist. And he motions over to the side. Huh? And an individual hey. starts walking onto the stage. Oh, Noir? Noir? A young man. We can see his art here. Hey! Oh, oh damn! Sheesh. Hello, Mr. Dragon Quest protagonist. What's up? I know, right? I, 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 I can say, like, it. you were on some Leaf Erickson shit. I was like, <laughs> about to say some Fire <laughs> Emblem a little bit. See yeah, some yeah. icon. That design is clean though. And the crowd just goes absolutely wild. Leaf, especially the girls, they just go crazy. But everyone is just—they uh, did not expect this whatsoever. And uh, the Eden people in front of you to... are like Craig going crazy too. Mm -hmm. Eden leans over to Victor. Oh no, someone's stealing your thunder. <laughs> that's disrespectful. Trust hey, me. That's, 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 oh. if, if I walked on stage, if I walked on stage, things would be different. Okay, let's of be clear. Course, let's of be course. real. Let's be real. <laughs> he starts oh, no, talking. Victor, leave kind of sexy though. <laughs> Victor says. I don't want to hear you say that ever again. It sounds too weird. It sounds too... <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And the Bracken confusion speaking. says which leaf. <laughs> he starts speaking on stage. <laughs> That's right. It is I, Leaf Lindquist, son and heir of the Lindquist fortune. And everyone just goes crazy again. Calm oh, down. like for this money. Okay. Despite the heroic things I've done for this city, it's not enough. Because now I'm on the lookout for the next hero. The next hero of the 20th floor. Whoever challenges our family had best know that we're not all talk. A family of regulars that decided not to continue climbing the tower. Each one of us is strong enough to become a ranker at this point. And our mother, the graceful and wonderful Lady Signe Lindquist, any motions to the statue, famous for her beauty, renowned for her kindness, where this town earned its name, she will personally be the one to oversee this opportunity, this once in a lifetime chance. The connections that we have, the people that we know. <laughs> May I remind you, our mother was once betrothed to one of the 10 family leaders. We have connections. We can grant you anything you wish. Any questions? And instantly the crowd erupts and he says, oh, <laughs> Please, please. What I suppose break. there's too many. I mean, you said once betrothed, but that means they didn't want her ass, right? <laughs> time, time and place. Woo, time and place. <laughs> play, play to the crowd. Like from it, room before him, run. all Brock can do is just say damn. Believe me, my mother was the one who made that decision. I bet she was. You got a picture? Because I'd like to clap that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Excuse me, what was that you said? I start moving my I chair. I said, away. do you have a picture of your mom's? No. <laughs> oh my god. I believe there was more to that sentence, sir. <laughs> because I would like to clap <laughs> that. Oh, no. Alright, uh, make a deck save for me. <laughs> oh, we are about to attack. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh we are screwed. 30 seconds of the Mars is playing in the background. Oh, we, this we, this we, was a good roll, though. It's fine. It was a good roll. We, we'll be all right. What's my dex? Hold on. Let's see. That's a 19. I'm ducking. <laughs> okay. That's a lot, though. Instantly, you feel a, a wave of Shinsu slash past you, but you duck right out of the way as it happens, but you didn't see him move. Oh. So you're not all talk, then. How about this, everybody? How about our brave young challenger here fights Goliath tonight? And everyone just starts whispering. It is, everyone just starts talking in the crowd. Will I get that picture of your mom if I beat him? Yo! <laughs> You'll get to meet I my little person. Well, sign me up. We haven't even ascertained if he has any weaknesses or not. Who cares? He looks weak, right, Brad? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I say we should leave the fight planning to our resident fight coordinator, shouldn't we? Oh, man. Oh. What's wrong? Are you afraid of the challenge, sir? I've never been afraid in my life. Sign me up. Victor whispers to you, Eden. Yeah, hopefully this guy doesn't have snake powers. <laughs> this isn't Who a fight to the death, off? right? A fight to the death? Who said anything about death? Oh, Although, yeah, that's right. No, 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 we're good with that. a habit of uh, not knowing how to hold back. <sighs> oh, dear. Cool, and we have someone that has kissing powers. All right. Up. I'm sure. <laughs> Leaf, Ooh, what do you think? I can kid. take him, right? What was that? Uh, I was asking Leaf if she thinks I could take him. Leaf is with Shio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's probably for the best. I can do anything <laughs> I want. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got this. And suddenly, you notice uh, a certain individual saying, "Everyone, we have a fight on our hands. The fight is about to get crazy." A certain individual <laughs> stepping up to fight Goliath, and she runs up to you. Do you have any words before the fight, sir? Uh, I'll give you the full scoop after the match, Janice. You heard that, folks. Let's tune in and see how this goes. And the crowd kind of starts to turn. 
And uh, Leaf Lindquist walks over to an empty area of the center. And there's lights everywhere, so it's, you know, there's, there's light and all that in vision. The rules are simple. The first to surrender or die loses the match. But if you do manage to beat Goliath, I'll personally grant you a rainbow ticket. Oh, I don't have to wait for him to surrender to kill him, then. No, you don't. Sounds fun. Let's get it started. Goliath slowly wanders over to you, and this person is over twice your height. and just looks down at you <laughs> and starts chuckling. Hey, man, I'm bigger than you where it counts. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I, and, I just uh, pull, can I pull yeah. you aside for a moment, <laughs> <laughs> and I I say if you're gonna do this, man, here here I, I'll you need every edge you can get, and I, I I use my lighthouse reinforcement. All right, a new technique is entered the fray. Wait, what is this? Oh, nice. Uh, let me go ahead and see here. Sixth floor. All right, go high ahead table and make question. Two... Yeah. Oh. High table question. If um, if I feel that Wu is about to die, can I intercept? Yeah, you do whatever you want. Yeah. You I can. Bro, but I we mean, have to deal with the consequences. <laughs> I'm not. Be... I'm not going but... to surrender. I will tell you that much. So oh, you might need to interject if I die. Uh, yeah. Surrender if you He's have like, to. Please save yeah. me, but... Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Dave, so I got a make... I got a I got a 19 on the first one and a 17 on the second one. Awesome. So Brack, I mean, sorry, uh, Wu, go ahead and make two uh, D4 rolls. D4 rolls? Okay. Yep. Is it, is it from my, for? Is it my charisma or his Yes, charisma? it's your charisma. Okay. So okay. tell tell Damien well, each of those numbers. The two and a three. And a two and add, a three. So, so add, three, add three to both. So that's 11, right? Yes. Yeah, so you gain 11 Ooh. temporary hit points. Oh, you can oh, up to you and... I'm clear. Only for two turns, though. It's only for oh. two turns. The first two turns? Okay, I'll, I'll make a note of this. Yeah. So so the lighthouses gather around you, and you feel this Shinsu coat your body much stronger than the body reinforcement you're used to. Victor goes, ooh, a new trick, huh, frog boy? If you're going to do this, you got to win. Appreciate you, Damien. If you can't win, just make make it as close a fight as we can so I can find any weak points. If I can't win with your buff, I might as well not be climbing this tower. <laughs> Brack, be careful, uh, buddy, says Victor. Sorry. Bra Brack says to uh, Wu, when all else fails, kick him in the jewels. He'll go down. He's a big guy. Just square, right, center mass. You're He'll go wrong. right down. I was thinking of using the staff for that, though. Isn't he 15 feet? <laughs> yes. Head bottom, then. Not the perfect. I got the perfect angle for it. Don't worry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so now Zojack is speaking. The fight is about to begin. Are both of them ready? Are both of you ready? Sure. Begin the fight in three. Two and Leaf just grabs a seat. No, while well, while this while this is happening, I, I'm gonna I want to observe the opponent of as course. best I can to find any weakness at all. Sure. If he has like a weak ankle, if he has a weak knee, <laughs> okay. I want to know about it. He's got sure. a limp. <laughs> oh, and Leaf says I did forget to mention. We'll allow that. Motions over to to Damien, because it's not gonna matter. But any further interference in this fight will make you disqualified and you will actually owe uh, 10,000 points to the Lindquist family. Of course. Somebody so rich, you're very particular about your funds. 10,000 points to the Lindquist family or saving a friend. Hmm. And you will also, of course, lose the fight. Continue, you, Zojack. We don't, we don't need to worry about all that. Isn't that right, Goliath? Three! Two! He just growls at you. One! Roll initiative! That's not what he said, but you know. that was seamless too, bro. Can I get some music? Can I get some music? There we go. There we go. Got myself a nice sixteen. Sixteen. Wait. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> you rolled even, so, uh, what's your dex? Oh, I thought I was gonna roll it again. Uh, my dex is 16. <laughs> so is his. Uh, okay. So, now we roll, roll again. Okay. That was a five. Oh no. Including everything? What am I adding? I never um, add anything. Oh, I never add anything to my Wait, <laughs> so, so, okay, you have a I rolled a 16 naturally for you have initiative. An initiative. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah. Then I will give that to you then. Okay. okay. I never yeah, have yeah. never added so, anything. So there's an initiative <laughs> section of your character sheet that is your roll, so you add uh, whatever your dex is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> your dex uh, <laughs> Oh, oh who has been nerfed this whole time? No <laughs> wonder I'm always last, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, All right. You, you get the first oh. move. All right, but um, how close am I to him? I'm going to say 30 feet away. 30 feet away? All right. I am going to dash straight up to him and go yep. for a uh, heavy staff breaking strike. Heavy staff breaking strike. So what does he have to do? Uh, actually, he doesn't have to do anything. I just have to roll attack. Okay. And then, yeah. Perfect. Uh, so, to hit, that's a 15, and if I hit, then I roll 1d8. You def you do hit, actually. So go ahead and roll the d8. Uh -huh. That's a 5. Okay. That's bludgeoning damage. And he must make a strength save? No, he doesn't have to do anything. You said forceful thrust, right? Oh, breaking No, strike. I said breaking strike. Sorry, sorry, I'm going, sorry. I'm going to get into thrusting stance, bro. Yep, <laughs> okay. So you strike forward instantly, downwards with your staff, cracking him in, in the, you know, cracking his body, and he slightly moves, but not by much. The crowd goes, whoo, kind of gasps, and you in immediately take a thrusting stance. Hit him again. What's wrong, Goliath? You seem a little slow. He raises his fist and surprisingly quickly runs up to you. Uh, does a 22 hit? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Take 10 damage as he just punches you as hard as he can with his fist. Okay, can I ask a question? So what happened? What happens when my... So the Damien buff is for two yes. turns, right? Yeah. So like... Once I hit my normal HP, then it's irrelevant anyway. Yep. Right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Got you. So it's funny because when he punches you, you don't even move at all. You just stay completely stationary, and the Shinsu kind of quivers around your body. Got you. Is there, is there anything I can observe from when he did that strike? That he's a very talented fighter. Okay, he's a very talented fighter, <laughs> Woo. Be careful. <laughs> I can see that, Damien. Appreciate you. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, I'm gonna use one SP for a body reinforcement bonus action. Perfect. And then I am going to summon Mizaru. All right. I always forget you can do this. Okay. So suddenly, <laughs> out of nowhere. Wait, wait, wait! No, after all four. After all four. Sorry, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that works. Okay. Out of nowhere, Mizuru appears, and the crowd starts whispering to each other, he's an anima, he's an anima. <clears throat> and just growls, another growl as he looks at the monkey, and Mizuru whoop, runs up and touches, tries to touch his eyes. Let me go ahead Dang, buddy. and check out this really quick. Okay, wisdom save. Mizuru, touch the mask, please. He please. does succeed. Oh, yes. yes. So right at the last second, he manages to sort of go out of the way and sort of just tries to shove the monkey away, but Mizuru kind of jumps back and then runs back towards you, Wu. All right, so he hit or he didn't hit? He did not. Um, Mizuru okay. failed. Okay. Okay. Mizuru okay. failed. Got For you. once. That, I mean, he's never, he never, he never <laughs> failed before, man. I can't That's be true. mad at him. Yeah, can't he can tell he's him. dejected based on his performance. I just kind of pat him on the head. I'm like, it's okay, buddy. Your monkey is... My future meal. <laughs> okay. Well, we're I'd love to see you try and catch him. Okay. He goes for another punch. Boom! Extremely quick, but you nimbly dodge the attack. Yes. And he stamps Let's his go. foot down. 
What's the terrain like here? Are there any surrounding? Um, yeah, the statue is nearby. Um, Leaf is sitting next to it. Uh, and the fountain, the water, the concrete floor, um, the steel buildings, or the concrete, you know, iron, silver-colored buildings. That's what you see around you. I'm go if I were to go for a forceful thrust, would he knock into something if he failed? Mm, Question. I don't have no. roll 20 to guide me here. He would not. Yeah, no, he would not. You're okay. in a very open area. All right. That's fine. I'm still going for it. <laughs> okay, okay. Sure. Um, First the attack roll. This. Hold on. Spin this. All right. The woo action. 15 again. That hits. And then 1d8 plus drag. That's a 6, and my strength is... Plus two, so eight. Okay. You hit him as hard as you can with that forceful thrust, you said, right? Yeah, you do have to do the strength saving throw, yep. but I guess yep. if there... That's only if there's something to hit, though. Well, I think no matter what, you would... Because he still gets knocked back, regardless. Now, you you hit him as hard as you can, and he kind of coughs for a second, but he does not budge whatsoever. Okay. Not even in a centimeter. He doesn't Fair even enough. budge... Not even for, uh, 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 Just remember that I'm in cycling. Either. Just remember oh. I'm in cycling stance now, though. I just, just, yep, you okay. Know. You assume that cycling stance. So he, then Damien's buff is gone, so I lose the other HP yep. point that I had, right? Yeah. It was just one, though, I think, right? Yeah, it was just one. Yeah. Okay. You feel it sort of leave. Damien, you notice this as well. You get the impression that it left. I still have body reinforcement, though. Didn't think about that. That's true. That's true. Um, For three turns, right? Yeah, so this would okay. be turn two. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't, you were saying, Joe, I didn't observe anything notable from that. I just observed that the lighthouse effect left his body. Now, at this point, you're surprised, because instead of going for a punch, Goliath instead puts his hands up. These massive, huge hands covering almost like his entire body, protecting himself. What are you doing there? Your turn. That's it? That's his turn? That's well. his turn. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> What's going on? Come on. <laughs> hey, but no, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's it. No worries. No worries. If you want, no, worries. Can... no worries. Uh it's I'm gonna go for a cloud cyclone. Okay. It's definitely a defensive stance, right? It's not So you yeah. roll investigation, Damien. Um, 16. Yes, this is helping him defend. 100%. In fact, and he's not getting anything offensively here. This isn't, like a cal this isn't a cal situation where it's gonna... You can't tell. Oh, boy. Good luck, man. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going for the cloud cycling because it only cost me one TP, so I gotta go. For sure, it. okay. Um, you're, you're in cycling stance. You gotta do a deck saving throw. Okay. You whip your staff around as fast as you can. Uh, 15. I believe that is a success. Yeah, that, that's success. Okay. Yeah, that's success. That's success. Okay. Now you can still deal half damage, though. Um, so I rolled the, the d8s regardless and then yep. subtract. Hey, uh, Cloud Cyclone kind of broken. Yeah. It's a great move. Yeah, uh, right. Okay. So then, and then. I don't get any of the extra effects, though, right? Nope. All right, so yeah, that's that's four damage then. Four damage? Okay. Yeah. He tanks the attack. You don't budge him whatsoever. And at this point, he just <clears throat> just chuckles. And you notice, in fact, that he you can't even tell if he took damage at all. He didn't budge. He didn't leave a bruise or anything. These arms are my steel weapons. <sighs> Well, that sounds intimidating. And while in the stance, he goes for a kick, but you easily dodge out of the way. Come on now, man. I'm not that slow. Your From turn. the crowd, practice as we we'll send the signal when you need me to intervene. Let's give him a thumbs up. <laughs> don't say anything. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Since you have such an affinity for my monkey, how about you see him again? Mizaru. 
You up again, buddy. This time, you'll be my snack. That works. Okay. Pshoo. Mizaru appears out of nowhere. <laughs> this will be... But this time, Mizaru is able to play around the man's movements. Sneak inside and touch hey. his eyes. There we go. Let's go, Mizaru. And Mizaru vanishes. What is this? What is this cheap trick? It's not a trick. Don't worry. You'll be able to see you again eventually. Eden, you look over and you notice that when this happens, Leaf Lindquist just has a smirk on his face. Mm. Oh, yeah. Failed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, your turn. it's your turn. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Just go. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's good. five. Don't worry about it. That's, uh, that's all a little good. Um, I guess I'm going to reset, dude. I'm not gonna use anything else. I'm just gonna. Okay. Um, go into that cycle. I'm going to. No, no, no. I'm not gonna die. I would use all my TP. I think I want to get to. Oh yeah, I meant yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at my. my... Yeah, yeah, I need to get back to thrusting stance. So I'll just do another breaking strike. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. That's uh, 21. That hits. Then, uh, plus 8. So 5 plus strength, which I think was 2. Don't remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 2. So 7 damage. This time, a good chunk of it does manage to break through. <laughs> and his stance kind of breaks. <clears throat> And Janice, you can't hear what she's saying because the whole fight is happening, but you can tell she's like excitedly talking. The rest of you can hear it though. I mean, you can probably hear it too. Despite being a scout, Wu is putting Goliath, Goliath on the offensive. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fight of the ages. Is Wu going to earn the rainbow ticket? And then Zojack is trying to speak over her. The, the, this fight is the, the fight of the century, everybody. And it's just a bunch of chaos. Can I roll perception? That's my scout. <laughs> <laughs> Was Can I roll perception to see, like, what Leaf was smirking at? Sure. I, I know I created this character, but every time I hear y'all say Leaf... I know! I'm very confused by it, bro. <laughs> I did, in my head, I, I have to this. be like, I gotta be like, it's Leaf Erickson and not, like... <laughs> Leaf Lindquist. Leaf Lindquist. Um, what, whatever, I gotta spell it that way. It's <laughs> a 14. Sorry? 14. To, to see why perception. he was smirking? Yeah. Mm, you can't tell. Okay. You uh, just can tell he's satisfied. Happy. Mm. Don't worry, buddy. He's a cocky bastard. No, he's concerned. <laughs> Goliath goes in for a really quick punch. Uh, yeah, disadvantage, by the way. I, yep. <laughs> Five and yep. a two. Uh, he goes in, and he, this like it's child's play at this point for you. Uh, it's the kind of weave that. Yeah, as I thought, you're a little slow. You'll grow tired soon enough. <laughs> will, will I? I got a lot more to go, I'll tell you that right now. I'm gonna go for a Relentless Pummel, which should buff. I didn't add that to my sheet, but I should only spend one. Oh, right. Pummel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you uh, uh, recently buffed? I buffed that and uh, Forceful Thrust. So, yeah, oh, yeah, look at that. Um, I didn't add either. That should have cost me... Eh, whatever, it's too late. I have more. I have enough TP. I have enough TP. Alright, alright. Alright, all right. All right, so I'm gonna go for a Relentless Pummel. Uh, relentless Pummel. Alright. So he has to make a deck save three times. Yeah. yeah. And Okay, I wanna cost two TP. Man, your moves are so cool. No, I've cost one TP in thrusting stance. <laughs> oh, right! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Small bad. Okay. Fail. Yes. Two failures. Okay, and then if it fails twice, uh, right. you take three. Oh no! If you fail all three, you take right. wisdom damage yeah. on top. Yeah, but so failed twice. Doesn't he have disadvantage though on all ability checks? No, just it requires checks. sight. Yeah, which I, mean... I, I wouldn't say that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. Sight. Um, 
I don't know what my damage output on this move is, though. Oh, here, I got you. It says uh, 1d6 plus strength and dex twice, because you hit him twice. Everyone okay. who's watching, you're, you're very impressed, because it's been a while since you've seen Wu uh, fight right, like this. But you I'll can go with tell dex. quite skilled. I'll go with dex, so it's a 5. 5 total? Yeah. So that's uh Well, it's a 5 that I rolled, so it's two fives, right? So you roll a d6, takes... add your dex. Roll a d6, right. add your dex. I did that. That's a five. Oh, I do five it twice. Points. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. Okay, the yep. first one's a five. Okay. The second one is a seven. Ooh. Okay. Immediately you rush in and just boop, 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 three pummels as fast as you can. He boop, takes one, stops the other one, but you instantly grab your staff and hit him again, kind of whipping your staff around very fluidly. <laughs> this is his last turn that he's blind. I think this is my last turn of body reinforcement also. Right, right. <laughs> and he roars as, as loud as he can, and the roar is so forceful that I'm going to have you make a constitution saving throw. This man's voice? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, he's got huge vocal cords. You have no idea. <laughs> he's a goddamn one Teague, Rex. <laughs> Constitution plus 118. Okay. He roars, but you're able to withstand the force that you feel coming from this huge... Like, it just feels like a gust of wind hits you, but you're fine. But you, you can tell now... You this morning, Goliath. It's kind of... At this right. point, he his stance shifts. And before, while he's not entering the defensive stance, right? But before, he was at least kind of able to block some attacks. Now his arms, he's hunched over, his arms are dragging on the ground, and he's just got pure rage in his gaze. Now, now, let's not be too hasty. He's going to rush towards you. And he completely misses. Easily, you easily dodge the attack. Yeah. Easily. Right, to tell you to keep your composure. You're this nimbly. guy was for three years. <laughs> I'm gonna use my last SP for another body reinforcement. Okay. So I got three more turns of that. I'm in neutral stance. Uh, do I cash out? <laughs> can I can I roll to see like how much more damage it's gonna take to kill him? Like just a general perspective. How much more damage to like, kill? Oh, like he's he has his a lot of fight. Legs. He has a decent he's amount of fight left. Okay, I'm gonna play a safe then. Let's go for uh, another breaking strike. Uh, sure. Oh, that definitely hits. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, See, it's good you rolled your one here. earlier. This, it's, it's working out, like Milios is Uh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, 1d8 on six. All right, so a strength is two, six. Six, okay. You smack him again, and you're just hitting him over and over and over again. And he's trying to dodge, but he's barely able to. But you can tell when he's in this stance, he doesn't even care about dodging. So he just takes the attacks and just licks his lips. I and Zojack like says, this is the real Goliath, folks! I'm not a fan of this guy. And you see his eyes clear up. <laughs> there you are. And he goes in, and you're surprised by the sheer amount of strength in this man's body. I'm assuming a 25 hits. Don't ask me that. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me how much damage I take. Alright. Hold on. Okay. Give me a sec. Okay. So. I'm on a knife. He. He rushes in and he hits you, and you felt his punch before, but you were not prepared to be just sent flying from this punch, at least flying and hitting the ground. It deals okay. 18 bludgeoning damage. Jesus Christ. Well, I can roll my, my D4 to minimize, right? Yeah, got, yeah, last turn, I think. Oh, wait, you re No, no, I, I re-upped on sorry. Last turn, right, right. I got three more. You're turn. totally right. And that's a three? Okay, so 15. So 15. Damage. Ah, oh, that's still a lot of damage, though, bro. That's still a lot. <laughs> this guy is I'm a so monster. I'm so bad, dude. 
I'm so mad. All right, bro. You can't have that much HP. I've hit you a lot. Let's finish this. <laughs> Janice says, wow, the fight is tight. The champion or the contender? Ah. You really want to make me hurt you, don't you? I'm going for another relentless pummel. Relentless pummel. All right. So he has to make three deck saves. Failure. Failure. This man like a Final Fantasy boss, man. Failure, <laughs> failure, and a one. So uh, oh. it's going to be three failures. It's going to be three failures. Oh, wait, three fa That's and a one? Three. Bro, yeah. you, yeah. you must take some damage, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. must yeah. take some damage. Not good. No. You like okay. it? Okay. Okay. Dude, ah. the blindness didn't even matter. I was rolling like fours and threes on my... It didn't even matter. It's just Jeez. insult to injury. <laughs> all right. Okay. Wait, so if they fail all three, wisdom damage is also dealt. So you just take yeah. extra wisdom damage. Yeah, so roll a d6, okay. add your dex. d6 times. for each hit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the wisdom. I, I just need to check my dex real oh, quick. Today is just amazing. My dex is three. So five for the first one. Okay. Four for the second one. Okay. And eight for the third one. And then my wisdom is plus four. Okay. All right. Do you want to kill this man? Hey. Yes. Oh. Absolutely. Make a show out of it. Absolutely. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I but I thought we wasn't killing people though. <laughs> no, no, nobody said that. I asked before the match started if I can kill him and I still win and they said yes. Oh, okay. That's true. All right. Go ahead and describe how this happens. Give me all Go the after. details. So I use forceful thrust again and berate him with three blows to the chest. Okay. Catch him by the hair as he collapses and smash his head in with, with the butt end of my staff. And after I do it, I turn and look at Leaf and smile with the like, goofiest <laughs> smile ever. <laughs> <laughs> you because instantly, and as you hit him three times, you notice a look of fear in his face right as you completely end his life. And the crowd is even louder than when Leaf showed up on stage. They're just absolutely going crazy right now. Crazy for you. What's Leaf's reaction, bro? So you didn't see the initial smile, but Eden, you see this too. That smile that he had before is even bigger. Mm. Now he's like grinning. Oh, he got off on that. I don't like that. <laughs> this <laughs> man is a sadist. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted Wu to win. <laughs> well, that is... Well, I'm smiling at him equally as creepily, so I guess we're just like... <laughs> <laughs> he's in a pot at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Consider me impressed. Everyone! I believe we found... Our new challenger. And then they all erupt again once more. And Zojack is like going crazy. Janice is talking into the camera. And everyone's going crazy. How do the rest of you respond? Shocked. I mean, that, that was the best performance you had ever seen from Wu. If it were for you, Damien, I might have died. There is a <laughs> chance I would have died. Yeah, Victor is go. cheering and, and, and clapping as well. Oh. Aiden's just sitting and observing very quietly. I am right. absolutely ecstatic, though. My God. Brett is <laughs> the dude. loudest one in the crowd. Okay. He's <laughs> like, I knew he could win. You all doubted him. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. I, That's I, my I was scout. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> was that Damien? I was so wrong. I thought for sure, like, we had to be coming back to this dude. Like, I'd be like, all right, it's like, all right, so, like, he's got, he, he's like blind in one eye or something. So, stay on his left side and you can get, like, advantage on more rolls or some stuff. But then we just actually won. I, I mean, <laughs> this man rolled I very poorly, I will say. <laughs> I guess this is the twice? shortest floor. Yeah. He hit me twice. The second time was the big hit, yeah. where I was like, Near death. Let's get our but, ticket and get out of here. I don't know. Do, do you think Mizaru made a difference just above the table? Actually, or no. Like straight. Okay. Normally, when you're blind, you're supposed to roll twice. 
every single one of my first rolls was like three, four, three. I was like, okay, well, mm. it actually didn't matter, but Got you. It, it still Damn. helped. Okay. Janice runs up to you. Please, please, an interview, if you don't mind. Uh, I got your number, Janice. We can set up a private one after I get some rest. Oh my God. A private interview? Sounds good to me. Ladies Damn. and gentlemen, turning back to the camera, this is the moment you had all been waiting for. The new champion to take the House Lindquist test. And she just keeps going, and then Leaf walks up to you. Well, consider me impressed, my friend. I'm sure I my mother would love to meet you. Reach out to shake his hand. So, uh, your mom. What's she looking like? That's why you fought so if she, hard. If she's, if she's anything like you, if she's anything like you, I'm sure she's a beautiful lady. Oh, it all makes sense now. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Look, man, everyone has their motivations. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. You're not bad looking yourself. Now, moving on to the matter at hand. Your rainbow ticket. Pulls it out. Hands it to Yoink! <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sure we'll be seeing you soon. Tomorrow, if you wouldn't mind. I'm in place, my boy. Time in place. Well... I'm sure anyone in town could tell you where our mansion is located. However, please be aware that there are some very important people in our house. We'll be guiding you inside, but I would ask that there are no disturbances. Yeah, I can't promise you anything, but I'll try my <laughs> best. House Lindquist has the approval of the floor administrator to run this test, meaning that any disruptions or trouble caused could be met with some serious, serious consequences. Hey, look, Leaf. Can I call you Leaf? By all means, it's my name. <laughs> as long as I get to meet your mom tomorrow, we'll be on our best behavior. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be looking forward to it. Although I should let you know, she did recently remarry. I thought you said she was single. <clears throat> I never said that. Your ticket back. This was a scam. I'm not about this. <laughs> well, it's just the same. I just wanted to meet her. I'm sure she's a lovely lady. See you tomorrow, man. See you tomorrow. Remember, team of 10. And he starts to walk away. And you notice and he pulls up his pocket and starts to talk to someone. I turned to Brack and I was like, that guy is shady as all hell, bro. Yeah, it really is. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, he'll be calling your daddy soon. You're really trying to get it with his mom's, though? Mm, what? She looks like me. No, 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 no. Look, I had one night away from Leaf. Just let me enjoy it. We you, Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's going in the next compilation. Oh, Brack. <laughs> hey, man, I don't, need, I, don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't want him as a stepson. <laughs> <laughs> well, Woo. And, he, and Victor slaps you on the shoulder. That was some good fighting. I'm impressed. Why don't you fight like that more often? When have I not fought like that, Victor? Oh, I don't know. When Cal kind of whooped you on the second floor. I was trying to make him be more confident in himself. Plus, I was using a needle. I didn't even use needles. Of course. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to, uh, you know, cause any hey, trouble. Hey, Victor, man, if you ever want to spar, I'm always here. Why? Why haven't you said so sooner? Let's just oh, not no. let Brack. Let's not let Brack hear us because I don't know if I want to deal with all that right now. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. By the way, and he pulls up his pocket, and you all notice that Shion sent a group text to everybody, letting you know that she bought a nice, modest hotel or reserved uh, two rooms. Two. Nice. Let's go. Tired. Nice. There are eight of you. Like no need. There's uh, four beds per room. What was that, Damien? <laughs> no need, we're leaving. We can go to the next floor. <laughs> 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 <We're leaving. laughs> Eon's like, what? Dark yet. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gone. Uh, okay. I'm assuming you all make your way there, but yes. uh, on your way, Victor says to you, Eden, you don't have any thoughts about how we performed? He was kind of awesome out there. He did well. What's wrong? I mean, he didn't need to kill him, but, you know, that's his decision. The man threatened to eat his monkey. 
I think he deserved to die. <laughs> Yo, it would have been fine. <laughs> She did threaten to eat my monkey. <laughs> I, don't know, I like that. I mean, meanwhile, Wu is making jokes about some lewd jokes about the Lindquist family head. So, I mean, all I, I did, all I did was <laughs> ask to see what his mom looked like. Sure. So sure. you could clap her, I believe, is what you said, right? <laughs> At this point, dude, you, you've, you've earned it. <laughs> Look, Victor, that is exactly what I said, but when we get to the hotel, as far as Leaf is concerned, I never said anything of the sort, okay? Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. You make Which your way, way back to the... You, you make your way to the hotel. It's a nice little area. Not as nice as the Artlim Hotel, but not nearly as uh, run down as Beatrice's. You find your room in the hallway, and when you... When it's opened up for you, Leaf has an extremely dead serious look on her face and she's staring right at you, Wu. Uh-oh. Leaf? Well, you're oh, in trouble. Televised. <laughs> comes Wu towards Leaf. What's going on? Oh, I don't know. The one time that we're not together, you go and cause trouble with the Lindquist family. You even, it, never mind. Look, it's not what you might have what heard. What were you thinking? She, she motions over and she own, uh, changes the channel on the Ooh. TV that's in the room. Oh, yeah, yeah the whole town saw that. Damn it, Janice! Um, <laughs> <laughs> look, Leaf, I can explain. Yeah. We, uh -huh. we had to fight in order to get a ticket to the test, and I just thought that I would volunteer. She grabs your ear. <laughs> it brings <gasps> you down to her level. Don't ever do that again, okay? Okay. Oh, what was that? Say it again. That Yes, Leaf, I won't do it again. But you should have seen this guy. He was... I did see. It was televised. Jeez. <sighs> and she just goes and sits down on the bed. You uh, didn't hear anything else, did you? Oh, we heard everything. Just gonna go to sleep, guys. <laughs> Man. Janice Man. misses nothing. She gets everything. <laughs> <laughs> a star reporter man she is actually she's on tv now and you hear her talking about the fight and she says i actually have private communication with the champion so you better believe more information will be coming soon back to you well i think she's coming to you <laughs> I, oh. I didn't say anything about meeting with her privately what are you talking about <laughs> oh did you now uh, i know i know oh right I'll right right they, yeah. <laughs> Let's look on the bright side, guys. We, we, we have a ticket to the test. And we That's have a big right. target on our back. Because we did it in public. On television. I mean, of course. That was always the risk. We have to deal with the consequences now. Mm. That being said, we have guaranteed passage to the next floor. And we just kind of got here. We no, don't we have still guaranteed take the test. passage. We have to <laughs> we take that test. Take the test. <laughs> we not? You're, you're forgetting a very important step, Damien. We get to pay. F we, we, it's, I mean, we get to take the test for free is what we get yeah. to do. Instead I mean, of paying that's... a million points. Exactly. That's great. Now, even... <laughs> oh, so you're just saying you believe in us. Okay. Well, Fair I mean, enough. it's, you know. Yeah. Oh, we're going to pass the test. You're right. Eden, you receive a message on your pocket. No. Sent it to you in private. There you go. And Shion says, you know, I'm kind of impressed, Wu. I actually thought you were dead. I was already thinking about our next scout replacement, but good job. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, I'm the nothing but try and be nice to you. Why do you think so lowly of me? I just complimented you. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, she better yep. wrong guy. I, I just oh, patted her on the shoulder. So you and Jong are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it doesn't really matter who sleeps where, but do we want to do like boys, versus boys and girls, or what's going on? Not the, oh no, it is. That's fine. Is... All right, cool. Yeah, we'll say that you move one of the beds to the other room, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me check this really quick. Cause Eden made it. Uh. Boom. Okay. So the night is going on. Is there any last minute things you all would like to do before the morning? And I set up a meeting with Janice. 
Sure. What would you like to say? Uh, 9 a.m. coffee. 9 a.m. coffee? She immediately yeah. responds. Yes, of course, where? You know this town better than me. Wherever the soup store. <laughs> <laughs> she recommends a really nice coffee shop uh, and, and uh, gives you the directions. Victor uh, looks over at you, Eden. Hey, everything good? Uh, we, we might, we might have a bit of a problem. A problem? Oh, come mm -hmm. on, you're still bothered by that guy from earlier, Sil Young? Yeah. Yeah. He probably was uh, just really good at guessing, you know? He's bailing. He's not gonna be there tomorrow and asked us to forget about him and I asked why and he just responded, forget about him. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, and she pulls up her pocket and shows the, the correspondence. I most likely will not be there tomorrow. Please forget about me. Forget? What the hell? I, I told you we shouldn't trust this guy. I mean, to be fair, I was curious. To be fair, I did say we should talk to him. But I told you You trust started this, this Okay, but like, look, I, I... You gotta admit, despite the... I'm torn, okay? I don't think I we should know. get involved with him at the end of the day. You say that about a lot of people that aren't yourself, Victor. Well, there's a reason for that. Should we tell everyone else? I guess so. Okay. You all received that information. I decide to track him down the next day. Not let him get away from me. Brack, do you think we could make sp like s'mores on like the <laughs> stovetop with like coffee filters? <laughs> <laughs> I think the coffee filters will burn very, very quickly. No, but... I mean for like for like after, you know. We toast the marshmallow on the stove top. Mm -hmm. I have lots of chocolate, you see. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. So I just they... don't have. Gra I just don't have graham crackers. So do you think coffee filters are okay to eat? Because they're like biodegradable, you know. So like. No, 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 no. Not the coffee filters. Not the coffee filters. But what we could do is we could go out to the market to try to see if they have like any of those little strawberry cookies. And if they got the strawberry cookies, you know, we're in business. <laughs> uh, you know crazy? Back you back two back are back. probably the oldest <laughs> members of the group, and you're children. <laughs> wait, wait. Shio says, "Did someone say s'mores?" Uh, yeah, I, I did. Um, I can go out and get some. You want me to get some graham crackers like now? Like, we're coming uh, with you. you like we need to make sure you get the white lines. Do you like s'mores? Just as much as anyone else. I don't know. I've never seen you perk up about anything before. Same. Yes, I like s'mores. Okay. Jong, you probably like s'mores too, right? Oh, Victor and I will go get some. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, s'mores are okay, I guess. See? See? Come on. We'll be back. Ah, the campfire episode. Wait, I, I can <laughs> go. <laughs> Except uh, it's a stove top. <laughs> it's a stove top, yeah. <laughs> Victor follows you, uh, Eden. Okay. Uh, out into the night. Uh, uh, we're, we're reduced to grocery shopping because she only got two rooms. <laughs> I know. You'd think she'd have learned by now, right? Uh, you would have thought. You would have thought. Oh, well. It's okay. We can take our time. We'll have plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's go find those graham crackers. Or should we find Sillyong? I mean, where would we find the guy? I don't know. I'm not sure. I figured your very keen Kuhn Victor senses would kick Ooh. in and give us a little bit of a lead. You're not wrong about that. You know, do you want me to find him? Because I can. Anything for you. Oh, and how, pray tell, how do you, how do you plan to do this? Trust me, I have my ways. <sighs> sure you do. I'll sure prove it. You do. All right, I'll go buy the graham crackers. You go find Sillyong. Without being noticed. Might take me a while, though. My love, we might be apart until the morning. Oh, whatever, what I, I do. We're going to be apart anyway, so. Huh. That's true. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the hotel, <laughs> we Brack and Shion are just like sitting there. <laughs> I imagine she's trying to not make me use the coffee filter. Yeah, I know for sure. She's very adamant about you need the marshmallow, the chocolate, the graham cracker. Okay. Well, Victor, do you think it's worth pursuing this guy? I mean, I probably shouldn't have mentioned the necklace before we got more information. That was my fault. But. 
He just At this a... point, it might be too much trouble to ask the necklace, but if you're interested in the kid, I'll find him. <sighs> well... To find him before I do, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. I didn't hear that. You're not with us. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything I've learned, you all telepathically just communicate. That's just facts. Um, do you think it's worth pursuing? You know, I'm gonna do it. You clearly want me to. I'll be. I back. don't. I d- by the morning. No, 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 no. I know how you are. No. All right. I'm gonna find don't this kid. I'm gonna bring him back. You're clearly worried or, or something. Okay, don't worry. I'm more, I'm more worried about you. He walks up to you and kisses you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> don't worry. I fine. don't want you in this city alone. No, I'm a member of the Coon 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 Victor. <laughs> 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 Died so shortly that night. <laughs> Look, he didn't even. He didn't even tell us much about you. Oh, so. we got one episode with the new fit I, before he died. Stop <laughs> <laughs> it! Oh, the tragedy! <laughs> I told you... Wait, shoot, I lost my share of thought. Uh, okay. Uh, what was it? I said I didn't want him alone in the city. Trust me, if I can't handle this, as Wu said earlier, I don't deserve to climb the tower. Okay? One night out. One night out. Come on. Just be back in a couple hours. Even if you can't find him, it's okay. Okay. I'll do okay. my best. All right. He gives you a hug. Okay. Love you. Love you, too. Right. I'll go buy the, the graham crackers for the Make toddlers sure back the room. they're the best graham crackers in the world. Otherwise, she owns going to flip, apparently. Uh, well, how about that? I, I'm still taking care of toddlers. <laughs> I go, go to find <laughs> graham crackers. Speaking of which, I want to go to Leaf now, bro. It's, time for, it's time for our plan. Me, Brack, and Sheila are like, why come one of us didn't get the graham crackers? <laughs> <laughs> We're the ones yeah. who clearly want the s'mores the most. <laughs> I think I know why, Sashio. They're probably upset I didn't get their own room. whoop de doo They can deal with it. Where, where, are the, where, where are we located exactly? Like, um, in the it's room? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's two rooms. So the boys are in one right. room, the girls are in another room. But, like, Shion went over to the guy's room talking about s'mores. Okay, I'm going to go to the other room. Where okay. Leave. Sure. Leaf is time. You got the mask? I've got the mask. Okay, but how are we going to do this exactly? Well. Jump scare? We definitely need a jump scare, but if we can get the lights, too, that'll make it even more powerful. We're gonna, we're gonna, maybe we can whispering. get, maybe we can get him alone, you right. know? Right. Okay. We don't want to freak everybody else out. That's true. That wouldn't be fair Here. to anyone else. I'll handle the lights, and, uh, Mii's already to take care of that right now. And then I'll ask him to come out into the hallway where you will be waiting. Sounds good. She All nods. right. Just wait for the lights to go out, and then that's your cue. All right. I'll go back over to the boys' room. Okay. So, uh, while we wait for uh, the ingredients for the s'mores, Joe, you mind if I talk to you in the hall for a bit? Something important I wanted to discuss. Right now? I mean, is there a better time? Well, but we got anything to do. I think All John right. would rather have s'mores. Wait. The s'mores aren't here yet, Damien. Relax. <laughs> well, it's all good. <laughs> Go ahead, Jong. We'll save one for you. Yeah, don't worry. Be right back. We'll be right as, back. As I'm grabbing the coffee filters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're adamant about that, huh? Okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> so, Jong and I step out to the hallway. And I start rambling about some random stuff. Okay. And then maybe like <laughs> 30 seconds into the conversation, the lights in the hallway cut out. Instantly, Jong, the lights cut out. But during the flash, suddenly, you see this terrifying 
thing jump out at you from the darkness. Ah! Let's fuck! And you see a witch doctor's mask jump right at you out of the shadows. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brett, do you, you just hear someone <laughs> yell Flux Volk? Um, um, I heard witch, but yes. Yes. Did we, you know, I, maybe we should sit this one out. Is, is, is she like very close to Jean? Yes, like right, yeah, on, like right on top. Yeah. Jean slowly just grabs the mask and lifts it up so he can see Lee's face. <laughs> and like, like the lights cut back on while this is happening. I'm like waiting with the observer to take a picture. Well, it's nice to know you're still a child. Oof. I take the picture and I'm like, well, that didn't go as I anticipated. <laughs> Any other hilarious hijinks to waste my time, Wu? Or can I go back inside? You know what, John? You gotta loosen up, bro. Leaf just wanted to have some fun with you. You know? I got the oh. idea because you said you were didn't want to fight me, and I thought maybe you were a little bit scared because of last time. So, maybe I thought this would bring back memories. Like she said, you didn't want to fight her. Leaf... Trust me, everything about that day, I'd like to forget, but it has nothing to do with you. Oh, well, at well. least I know that my boy is in there somewhere. <laughs> All right, but I promise you that one day I will scare you. We'll find a better plan, Leaf, don't worry. Yeah, you're yeah right. I would and... hold my breath on that. Oh man, just, just, just breathe sometimes. And know that you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. And trust me, I get it. We've talked about this many times, but First I need, all, need you to relax. I breathe all the time. Okay, I don't know why you're asking me to breathe. Yeah, on people's necks. But not in your own. <laughs> <laughs> I knew someone was going to say it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you didn't say anything to them of that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just go ahead. So at this point, uh, Eden, you do find the graham crackers at the Whole Foods store, no problem, whatever, the, the market. You know, they got, they've got, a, they got all Whole Foods, yep. Um, easy, easy. Uh, I'll say five, uh, five, three points. So, okay. Yeah. And uh, you make your way back, no problem, no trouble along the way. And uh, when you make your way back to the hotel, you see the other six of them in their rooms. All right, Grand Cracker delivery. Oh, thank uh, God. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> cool. Hand me those. Hand me those. Hand me those. Coffee filter was not a good idea. You should let Shion take you care of you. You need a coffee like a master. Yeah. Hold Damien. on, everyone. You. Damien, you didn't do it. Didn't do what? Eat a coffee filter? I did. <laughs> okay. Well, well we get would that. all like to eat normal s'mores prepared by Shion. Thanks. Thank you. There is an art to cooking this smart. Okay? Oh boy. Well, and she just goes on and on while grabbing all the ingredients, roasting it over the fire. Let me do a little thing here. Brack is sitting Indian style, like kind of somewhat right behind her, like yeah. three feet, just watching her, watching okay. her work in amazement. You see how she's whipping the, the, you know, the prongs around and sliding the marshmallow in and out, roasting it. Never sets fire. Mind you, this is a stove top. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I have a way. It's masterful work. Yeah, look, bro, an artist doesn't work. get to choose the canvas all the time. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Let her work. Let her work. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and by the time she's done, she's prepared once more for everybody, and it's cooked wonderfully well. And I did roll. Thank you very much. I did roll. I said, did you roll a natural 20? <laughs> Judge by uh, that look. One <laughs> it was a 19. More. Oh, that's pretty good. Hold up. How big are these s'mores, though? Um, they're like handheld. Regular size s'mores, Brack. I know everything's on the floor. I'm a giant. I can't be eating that. Would you like, <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some more, Brack? Did you get the industrial <laughs> graham crackers she from Brack? Look me in my eyes. <laughs> Ask me that question again. <laughs> and then when you're looking, make sure you tilt your head a perfect 45 degrees up because you still wouldn't be looking me in my eyes. I'm big. I need more. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sure, sure, 10 points. <laughs> 10 okay. points? 10 points. Ah, you, you, you really going to hit me over my head? I'm just for 10 kidding. Points, I'm though. just kidding. It, third one, though, yes. Then we will. We run out Honestly, of though, Shion, I would pay for these. This might be the best really? one I've ever had. Hey, whoa. Well, thank you. Well, Let's talk about her. setting up a little business venture. Encourage her. <laughs> me and my brother always talked about this kind of thing. We'd like s'mores all the time. I don't know. I think there's something about just being outside. I wish we were outside and eating a s'more. Huh. Is that why you wanted to camp? No. Hmm. Just curious. I mean, I like a nice room just as much as anyone else. By the way, Eden, where's Victor? Oh, uh -oh. he had something to tend to. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. Alright. He'll be back in a couple hours. Alright. Mm. The night continues on. I'm gonna assume everyone heads to bed after eating their share of delicious gin marshmallows, as Shion calls them. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... I'm posting a video to Tower Tube about the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a live stream, or...? Uh -huh. Yeah, I recorded it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. The first person perspective footage. <laughs> sure, sure, okay. It didn't put a dent in my chocolate supply, don't worry, guys. Still plenty of chocolate bars. It's no graham crackers. I'm gonna say. What about it's the like... marshmallows? Damon? Hmm? What? Oh, no, I was Did... done. Oh, okay. What about the marshmallows? Huh? What? Those were uh, those were special Hreisfelger marshmallows that I don't really know the origin of, but oh everyone seemed to enjoy God. them. <laughs> they might have been marshmallows. Wait, what? We ate mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that what's happening now? The taste was good. The taste was good. <laughs> Do you mean were those not marshmallows? I just got to crim. Harry's Felger stash. Oh, Amy, do I need to forcibly throw up right now? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Out of nowhere, Harry's Felger hops under your shoulder, Damien. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Where is yeah, he? He's giving you the side eye. Oh. Well, it's going to be like that, that huh? Not <laughs> oh, no. like you don't steal from me, bud. <laughs> yeah, I know about that. <laughs> Oh, so it's my fault! <laughs> Listen here, okay? Fine. I'll give you some popcorn for the... Those were marshmallows, right? Mm. Oh. They... Oh. Everyone go to the bathroom and throw up. I think... Oh. Okay, well, I'm, uh... What are they? Harmless. She even says, let's... I'd rather not know, if I'm being honest. Let's just go to bed. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. Should be, in quotation marks. Um, could you all sign this so I'm not liable to any... Uh... No, <laughs> what? I'm going to uh, go to sleep now. I'm going to say everyone starts to head to bed. Yeah. Um, should Eden, be fine. you're lying awake, I assume, or yeah. a little bit longer? And also, say... before, oh. before that ends, yes. Eden slides a little like single packet of popcorn to Trace Felger that oh. she got at the store, too. Ah, uh, Trace Felger... Mm -hmm. Heartily accepts, and you can tell he's very grateful. <laughs> and he made I'll sure Damien didn't see too. as well. You notice he mm -hmm. looked around. Okay. I know how this boy works. I gotta keep him <laughs> on my good side. <laughs> <laughs> the truly, y'all thought you didn't have a leader of the party. Oh, how wrong you were! <laughs> <laughs> you're the shadow leader, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> the leading from the very start. I'm mm. gonna say it's been about three hours. Okay. It's going on 1 a.m. And going on 2 a.m. And 3. Eden? She's getting worried and sends a message to Victor. Where are you? No response. Shit. Hey. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Crazy. You just she like very off. quietly no gets up <laughs> and sneaks out of the room. Okay. And she goes back to the last place she saw him and is going to start trying to trying to track him down. Okay. You go out into the dark city 
At this point, most of the lights are out. There's barely anyone out. You do see a few people in, in hooded cloaks walking around. Yeah, she um, has her hood up as well. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll a uh, investigation. Mm, investigation. That would be a 13. It's, you know which way he headed, so you follow that, but it just leads you to another area of the city with a lot of closed down shops and the like. Mm. You don't find any sign of him. Hmm. <sighs> Can I help you, miss? Someone okay. walks up behind you. Can I uh, help you? Uh, you What's wouldn't a have lovely young lady like you doing out at night? <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have seen a uh, blue-haired man in a blue jacket recently, have you? Blue-haired man in a blue jacket? Why are you looking for someone like that? Because I'm looking for him. Have you seen him or not? <sighs> no, I have not. All but right, cool. Have a nice. Kind of come. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be fine on your own. <laughs> she just turns and leaves. Okay, okay. Are you heading back to the hotel? No, she's just gonna she's gonna keep walking around a little bit and see if she can't like find okay. any trace of him. You do not find any trace of him. Another hour goes by, it's five AM. <sighs> this is not how I wanted to spend my night, Victor. <sighs> Roll perception for me. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. That is very nice. 18. Someone is approaching behind you. Mm -mm. She keeps her pace, but her she's she's very on guard. So if they tried mm -hmm. anything, she'd be ready to attack. Okay. You're in a very quiet part of town. Mm -hmm. But suddenly, hey, uh -huh. hey Eden. It's she on. She was on behind you. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to find Victor. Oh my he didn't God. come back when he was supposed to come back, so I got worried. He's a big boy. He can handle himself. You should get some sleep before tomorrow. What? Well, I... Says the person who should also be asleep. Oh, Master Chef Shion. What? No, I... <sighs> okay, look. All I'm saying is that if anyone's fine on their own, it's Victor. Leading you bunch of toddlers, I don't trust any of you guys by yourself. If I'm going to be perfectly honest. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal, Eden. You're what? making a decision as if you were the leader right now. Mm -hmm. What would the rest of us think if they found out you were doing this? You're not in charge right now. I'm making a decision... To find someone that doesn't need the group involved. Are you How placing Victor a... above the rest of the group? No. What would happen if someone found you? What would happen? You're just as important. You're far more important than Victor is. She was spitting. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Sling. Tell her. Tell her what's up. Yes. I'm going to mute you guys. <laughs> Making me lose myself. <laughs> I didn't put him above anybody. And this isn't a leader decision. This is an interpersonal relationship decision, Shion. Every decision we make needs to be as a team. Not everything we can be held in a democratic fashion. I'm so proud of Shion for believing in democracy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! These are going to be mute sessions from now on. Shoot. <laughs> Not everything has to go through that. I let Wu and Leaf go off on their own. We didn't hold a vote on that. They were their decision to make. How does that matter with this conversation? They because I'm just going to find someone in our party. In the dead of night without telling anyone. Wu had the decency to let you know when he was leaving with Leaf. Guess what? Y'all were asleep. <sighs> I'm heading back. You coming with me or not? Please. What is me sitting in a room going to help? Why do you assume he... Never mind. I'm going. You can come or not. Cool. And she turns around Have and starts walking away. Night. Okay. You know, you're a queen. 
<laughs> she Eden kind of navigates to where they first found a silly young and is going to look for clues to maybe where sure. she went. Sure. Roll investigation for me. Okay. Oh, that works. I almost yeeted that off my table. That is going to be a 21. Okay. You start to investigate that little square that you had all been with Sil Young, and you go into the alley that you were there, that you were was present with Sil Young and all that, and you realize that people were here recently. Mm. And you have a feeling it was Victor. Mm. You can just tell. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna send Victor one more message. Just like, hey, is everything okay? You actually receive a response. the morning and with a very frustrated sh sigh she kind of stomps back to the hotel okay okay sure you head back do you go to sleep no she worries <laughs> <laughs> okay all right i'm gonna say the morning comes 8 a.m the light is streaming through the windows. Everyone slowly starts rising out of bed. And uh, you hear the hustle and bustle in the outside town. Not like Artlem, once again. Much more... It's not like merchants calling out, but just a uh, nice... A nice sound that's just kind of steadily coming through. Just a, a light hum. The air is better than in Artlem, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a knock on the boy's door. Rise and shine, everyone, says Leaf. I'm up. I'm up. And then, uh, Brack. yeah. Brack rolls over out the bed. <laughs> time to get up, bud. Uh. It's food uh. time. Food? Okay. <clears throat> he gets up and walks towards the door. Okay. Uh, Shion uh, approaches you, Jong, when she sees you. Hey. And she motions you to come, up, come closer. Hey, what's up? Eden left in the middle of the night to look for Victor. <laughs> Should have known. Did you find him? I don't know. She's not acting right. Yeah, I'll say. The fool probably has her wrapped around his finger. I. She's in love. There you go. That's it. Yeah, well, love makes people do stupid things. Yeah, got that right. Um. At this point, Leaf walks up to you, Eden. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good, hon. You have good sleep? Yeah. And she's rubbing her eyes. Good. Yeah, definitely. A uh, little nervous for today, heading over to House Lindquist, their, uh, mm -hmm. their territory. But We should have all gotten some rest last night to prepare for that, shouldn't we? She all looks at you, Eden. She just kind of narrows her eyes. Nothing a nice bath won't fix. Nope. And right as you're saying that, suddenly Victor comes bursting in through the door. All right, guys, we gotta move. We gotta move. Come on, come on, come on. let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, okay. mm, what uh, did you do? I, everyone, meet Sil Young, and he he brought Sil Young with him. He's kind of like just we've, got him by the shoulders. We've met. What is going on? Hey, what's going on? She like on? grabs both of them and pulls them in the room, shuts the door, locks it. What happened? No, 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 no. You don't understand, Eden. We don't have time. We gotta move. Um, Where so. Are we uh, <clears throat> House got a is kind of after me right now. Uh, they're what on the do trail. you mean? Uh, this is a problem. So here's what I'm thinking. I escape with Seal Young. You all go and take the test. I meet you guys later, okay? Uh, <clears throat> what did good? you do? What did you do? Seal Young isn't saying anything. I open my pocket. No, I'm I'm I... I'm talking to Victor. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Danny. I hand I hand him his Mandalorian disguise, and I say. Oh. <laughs> <"Good luck." laughs> 
Dang it. <laughs> Damien, you are a lifesaver. Okay, uh, I'm thinking we take this. Uh, uh, sh should I take him or, or leave him, though? I don't know what you did. What? what so, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll get, uh, he's putting on the, 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 the armor while he's uh, talking. Okay, so here's what happened. I went to look for this guy. I ended up finding him. He was talking with a bunch of soldiers from House Lindquist. Leaf was also there. Leaf Lindquist, not you, Leaf. Uh, Leaf looks confused. And eventually, I decided, you know what? They started to take him away. They started putting him in chains. I decided to kind of rescue him, and uh, we've been on the run ever since. You did. Uh, what? Well, okay. That's very kind of you. Um, oh, okay. what do you wait, 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 wanted? Wait. Okay. I didn't. I just said we should maybe look in and check on him. Uh, so did you, we did, let him you said in. what? I put my hands on, on, on Victor's shoulders. I say, okay, never take that helmet off. All right? You, okay. you. Your name. You are the Dawn Spear. All right. If we're if we're looking for you, you will you Dawn will look Spear. around. Roll right. That is your code name now. Never give your real name out yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, you, okay. you are living inside that helmet. And suddenly, there's a pounding on the door. Okay. Oh, Open up. Oh, oh, I don't have long time for this. Here. Silion's on our team now. Ta-da. Look. What was that? She she on here, and I give she on the rainbow ticket. Why? Why? What, what's this for? You're the best one to hold this right now. Victor, why? <laughs> and I just shake my head. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, fuck. Okay, so this is on me. Sil Young's on our team now, and they have to respect mm, it because he's part of our, our no, part of our not. team. Yes, he is. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What is... Oh, is that, a, is that, is that, is that the leader speaking? That we I didn't any of us were going to hunt this guy down, and now we're just roping him. Is that the leader speaking we can, that we can, I hear? We can make a decision later. For wait, now. wait, 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 wait. She said, yes, he is. Is that the leader giving us an order? There's only one window, and it's tiny. I'm not fitting through that thing. Uh, I th This is it. This Brack, is break I the window down. <laughs> I'm, le I'm, le I'm leaving, man. I got I got stuff to do. I gotta meet Janice at nine. We can meet at Linquist later. <laughs> you guys deal the with this. I just open the I just open the door and walk past the. They guy. do not let you walk past. There's like five yeah. soldiers. Let me check that athletics check. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> it's like what are you talking teams? about. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go, dude. That's an eighteen. I don't even need to look at my athletics. Is like five or something like that. Let's so eighteen go. plus five. I'm gonna yeah. need this specific. Okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the after that. Okay, uh, you get through the first guard. Yeah, it is the plus second, five. It is plus five. Okay, the second guard tries to stop you as well. So roll again. Oh my god. A a that's a dirty twenty. Okay, the two guards try to stop you, but you do manage to evade their uh, their their uh, <laughs> capture. And then another guard walk. Another person walks into the hotel, and it's Leaf Lindquist. So this is where the wild oh. goose chase ends. What wild hey. goose chase are you talking about? We, we broke the wall down, right, Rack? We did that. <laughs> Rack turns around with his bowl of Shinwayos in his hand <laughs> as he's eating them. And he's just looking over at Damien yeah, like... Continental breakfast. Uh, That's right. You shouldn't do that on a... A balanced breakfast comes first, <laughs> I guess. He just smiles with a mouthful of cereal. Leaf, buddy, I thought we weren't meeting you till later. Why are you here, Sir Champion? Me? Uh, I like the sound of that. I was on my way to get coffee. I don't know what's going on here. You don't mind if I just slide on by? Actually, I do mind, Champion, because there is an individual that we are arresting. And you're getting in my way. If no, you do not. this, we uh, can uh, revoke your ticket, you know. I am not getting in your way. Do whatever you need to do. Okay? I need you to head back into that room as well. There's absolutely no escape, right? If I don't head back into the room, no. I'm not meeting your mom later. I l l Let me ask. There's there's no way out for us. Yeah, there's no way. We're trapped in this. Yep. We should probably consider giving him to them. I'm being these. And then Leaf says, no, we, we, uh, that, that clicked the wrong leaf. No, we can't. <laughs> wrong leaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this yourself. Uh, I, yeah, I thought for sure y'all were going to get more mixed up, but it's me. Uh, 
No, Eden, I think you're right. What if we just say he's a part of our team? They... He is a part of our team. No, guys, this is Artlem all over again. Just Can give this kid to the guards. Let's vote! Come on! All right. Oh, there's it's guards at the door. I vote yes. Yes to keeping no. him on the team? I yes. vote whatever Leaf votes. I had to go get coffee. The, what are you- In Leaf, bro. I Ooh, think this is that. important. No, I'm talking to Leaf. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In terms of... <laughs> For the yeah. survival of the group, I say we give him up. I say we act like he's part of our team if we're voting. Eden? I already, I already said what I said. Victor says, okay, this, this might be our best chance. I don't really want to go to jail, so. Brack? Brack. <laughs> that's a yes. That's a vote for yes. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Democracy no, rules. <laughs> Democracy rules. Victor, <laughs> Breck, <laughs> what do you have to say? I think Victor is yes. This decision part of the team. That, Whatever happens, it, it hinges part of the team. At this point, Wu, do you walk back to the room? Leaf is not giving me a choice, man. I'm trying to. I've been trying to leave. No, I jumped over two guards. I He's part of the team, then. To talk That's to what all of you, if you're harboring this person. I'm not harboring anybody. He's been climbing the tower with us. That's our final decision, right? We're we're, we're yes. keeping him. Okay, we're keeping We've him. Already ruled. No, okay, please don't. Just making sure. Please, Silly Young, it's fine. No, you are much not fine. You Eden. don't realize. You gotta talk He's to walking you. towards you, Wu. Please go back to the room. No. I'm going. I'm going. All right. I'm going. You just, just know the that soldiers. I got to be out of here. But <laughs> they part, let you back in, so that Leaf and the soldiers are not talking to all of you through the doorway. Oh, so young. It says Leaf. We miss you. You know. We just want you back in our family. Come on. Just come in peace. You well, to let you know. Well, hold on, hold on, Mister Leaf Lindquist. See, we were climbing the tower with him, and we kind of met up with him, and you know, he is part of our team. So, said ten people. Yes, up we to ten. Got, we got he nine. Nine. We always had nine. So, I don't know what you're trying to pull. You're trying to tell me he's a part of your team. Oh yes. We said. He knows many secrets about us, and we'd like to keep it that way. So, um, yeah, he's part of our team, and you know, I. It's a little early in the morning to be breaking down doors and stuff. <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna see you later. It'll be great. And you understand that he's on our team, so under our protection. Mm-hmm. The champion's you... team. He looks over at you, Wu. You can vouch for this. Like I said, got somewhere to be in 45 minutes. Yes, he's part of our team. And we're supposed to meet later at your house, correct? Mansion, can't miss it. Mansion. Yes, you, you know, your mother and Wu apparently have some sort of, you know, thing going look, on. So. Look, look, He's part of our team. He will be with us when we come to visit you later. Is that good? We, we, we cool here? I'll let mother decide. <laughs> Lord Lindquist herself will make the final decision. How tall is Leaf? Uh, like 5'11". Okay. Well, you I'll go back go. to mommy and, you know, we'll see However, you on one condition. Oh, and what condition would that be? We guide you to the house. Right now. I thought we were meeting until later. You see, we can't exactly, uh, let go of that individual right now. Oh, but he's part of our team and you let him go for a very long time, so... Yeah, he'll... What's, he'll, what's one afternoon? Fine. He's on our team, so he's All right. part of, he'll be at the meeting. We'll say this. If Siliang is not at the mansion when you arrive, your rainbow ticket will be expelled from your possession. Mm -hmm. You each owe 100,000 points to House Lindquist. 
Sure. Deal. Shake his hand. All right. We'll see you at 3 p.m. Right, right. Guards, come on. And the guards follow him out of the building. You guys are the dumbest bunch of people I've ever met in my entire life. Thank you, Zhang. I tell myself that every day. As much as I want to know... You don't do it enough. Are you guys insane? Let's not worry this is exactly about exactly what happened on the sixth floor. Exactly. Silly on, silly on, silly. On. Told you I would come after. Jong, we we voted. What did you do? And this is what we came up with. Screw the and vote. We, Are you guys agreed. just content to put this team in as much danger as possible? We're in the situation that we're in, Jong. It's too late to complain because about. of you guys. I'm nothing. Why, about you don't even know this person. Silly on, you're not a curse. Look. No, you're not. Look, look, look. I'm just gonna say this. I don't know or care what they want with you. I don't have time for this. Jong is kind of right. This is the same bullshit that we pulled before, and look at where that got us at Artloom. Now, I said what I said, and you're coming with us to the mansion. But outside of that, I don't have time for this. I'll catch you guys at three. Sheon, you got the ticket. Yeah. I'll beat you. Got it. I'm, and I'm out. All right. Wu was not missing that date. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. But what matters now is how we get out of this. I'll come up with something. No, we've already gotten out of it. If we must Yong participate. You... Yeah. you do not want to go against House Lindquist. Oh, no, that's not what I mean. I mean how we get out of this with, you know, no one dying and stuff, you know. You know how it is. If... I'm sorry I acted out of turn. I said I wouldn't do that again and I did it again. I apologize to everyone here. It's disappointing, but... Yeah, I know. It is what it is. I know. I know. I'm going outside to get some air. And John walks out of the room. Okay. What matters now is what we do next. Sil Young, why do they want you so badly? Because I have something that they want. Is it that necklace? Yes. And why do they want the necklace? I don't know. Then what's the harm in giving it back? You're right. You're right. I should. But All that... But what? Me and my... Me and my soulmate did so much to protect this, and I don't want her sacrifice to be for nothing. Did she die getting this necklace? No. No, she's not dead. Oh. She was but captured by House Lisquist. So we could potentially use it as a bargaining chip to get it and get her back to you and then you'd be on your merry way. If it was as simple as that, I, which I doubt it would be, uh, well, I, I doubt it's as simple as that. What if it's not enough? What if it's too late? Well, we won't know until we talk with the... Lady Lindquist or Lord Lindquist, whatever her name Lord, is. Lord, it's Lord. Lord. Okay, Lord, it is. Um. Oh, well, maybe, maybe she, maybe we'll catch her in a good mood. Show it as a sign of good faith. He. Lord Lindquist is never in a good mood. Well, you know, Wu could help with that, but. I was about to say she will be when I talk to her. Uh... 
Well, she did just get remarried, so you, you haven't seen her in a while, right? Somebody made her happy. And she might be more softer to she your position. She didn't marry for love. Yeah, that tends to happen. Um, who's your soulmate's name? Lyria. Lyria? She's a very kind person. Loyal. Consider it. Hmm? She's been by my side whenever I need her. And I've let her down. Okay. Well, if we can, like I said, use this as a potential bargaining chip, or if we can find some way to get her out otherwise, she could be our 10th team member and we could both get you off this floor. She's no longer on this floor. What? They've told me so. Well, they could be lying. I don't believe they They, they control the whole floor. You really have no idea any significance of this necklace? Why would your soulmate sacrifice herself to do something like this? She was trying to repay a debt that I wish she didn't. What she was felt, the debt? She felt that she owed me. We were both born on the sixth floor and Ever since then, we'd sort of been fated. I don't want to bore you with the details another time. Oh, perhaps. we like details here. In this house, we like details. There isn't much to say. And how did you come across the necklace? It... It looks like he's about to tear up again. <laughs> I didn't mean to steal it. I. It was my mother's. The last I had of her. She was sold off, and. I felt that if I lost it, I would lose everything. Do you think your mother's alive? I don't know. But you do not want me on your team. Siliong. Me and Lyria. Me being with her is what caused her to be captured. And the same thing could happen to all of you. Despite the well. fact that your Shinsu feels manufactured. Despite the fact that your lives, your lives are different than others. I sense a certain kindness from you that I do not wish to ruin. A true kindness unlike this city. Or what this city stands for. Well, if you remember, I voted to not have you on the team to hand you over. But we voted to keep you on, so I will do everything I can for a favorable outcome. Give him a little half smile. He doesn't see it. Okay. Right, he's blind. I forgot about that. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> to be fair, that's fine. I, mean, I didn't have to say anything. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> Silly young. Well, I see you all laughing. I, I, you can't see me for shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. That shit's so funny. Uh, well, the, well, the group already wants to kill me. So I'm going to say this. If you stay on our team and you agree to help us and we can potentially iron this whole necklace and, and soulmate debacle out. If we're not successful and we can pass this test, House Lindquist will grant a wish. You're right. And that wish could be to restore your family, your soulmate, your mother and anyone else you care about and they're going to be bound to it but that would mean you would be foregoing your wish i was trying to wife up the house lord <laughs> that better not have been your wish 
<laughs> I mean, it would have a strategic value. <laughs> Think about it. She is in control of the floor. Uh, but, oh but, there's eight of us, so agreeing on one wish is going to be rather difficult. Other than we're just like, oh, we wish to be rankers. Poof. That's not going to happen. So. I mean, I can't guarantee we won't use our wish for our own gain. Because. It's I not mean, one wish per person. It was a singular wish. Exactly. Like, we're going to probably end up wishing for something else. It's it's all a, it's all on a democracy system, you know? Which I guess you're a part of. It's the day democracy die. <laughs> It works. Democracy yeah, works. Are you having coffee with Janice? We, we need to leave. It will take us a few hours to reach the mansion. Okay. And believe me when I say, House Lindquist will give us more time to talk. They like to play with their prey. Well, you said what, no? we're, you know, I might have that reputation too. So, um, yeah. You, you do? Eden looks at the camera. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> yeah. He just shoots a look at Damien. Yeah. So, all right. You obviously know the best way to get there. So let's. Well, it's what time is it in the morning? Eight, um, seven, at this point, it's like nine. It's nine. So we've got to get some food first. Let's. Let's get some breakfast. Okay. Get, I'm gonna to say I'm gonna say you all go out and, and start, you know, preparing for the breakfast. Um, and <laughs> Victor slowly he looks at you, Damien. Do I still need this or? Mm, might be good for you to hang on to that. Yeah. Okay. Wait. No, this is stupid. Come on. He starts taking it off. We're, we're fine. <laughs> we're part of the team. It's gonna be okay. I mean, sometimes you let, dude. I listen to you. If you, if you, if you think about it, they didn't actually know you were there. That does give us a small advantage. Let's just go get some food. At the great Dawn Spear, the great Coon Victor was not in our presence. Right. They don't know. Perhaps they don't know that you were on our team. Uh, they they called for the meeting smart, last but... night. We and were it was on all television. recorded. Yeah. Um, while you're walking to get breakfast, and Sil Young is he's slowly walking with you, slowly. He goes over to you, Brack. How do you feel about this? How do I feel about us going to a breakfast and handing you over to them? Feel like we have no choice. Do I want to do it? No. But are we gonna? Perhaps. You are a genuinely good person. Never change. Back. It just, he speaks with this like wisdom that does not match his age. And I don't like the fact that you... Sorry? Oh, oh well, I was, I was going to have Brack say under his voice, you called me imperfect. <laughs> and then he just watches him as he walks away. Okay. Uh, we're gonna cut to Wu. You are at the coffee shop. Janice was already there, waiting for you. Her dog is there at the counter, or at the at the table. Champion Wu. I go to pet the dog again before I say anything. It starts her. growling at you. <laughs> One day, buddy, we'll get along. Uh, hey, Janice. Have a seat. And hi. I must say, I when I, when I met you yesterday, I I didn't expect you to uh to be quite the accomplished fighter. So why did you want to talk to us then? I thought you... Well, it doesn't matter. As you can see, I can handle myself. That was incredible, that fight last night. What stop? Who taught you how to fight like this? She's just immediately asking questions, just right away. Well, I could say no one, but if I did, he wouldn't let me hear the end of it. Let's just say that there's a certain individual that you probably don't want to meet tower and he's responsible for training i see very interesting you're a scout 
but you seem to have a lot of fisherman abilities, fisherman-like abilities. Would you like to elaborate more on that? Well, I mean, you're a regular, Janice. You know how it goes. I'm a scout because that's where they put me. Doesn't mean that that dictates my fighting style. One hundred percent. Although I must say, me myself, not much of a fighter. Uh, but that being said, that's where my buddy comes in, and she starts petting uh, her dog. Isn't that right? Oh, yes, I, it is. Isn't that right? That's I a combat poodle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not a poodle. The dog fights. <laughs> now, Speaking of which, I'm pretty curious about him. You don't mind if I record this? I got a little uh. Channel of my uh, own. Oh, uh, well, certainly she looks over at her camera and then back at you. This is quite interesting. Um, did you want to ask me questions or? Just, uh, I'm curious how someone who's not a combat specialist, doesn't particularly have a team, gets sponsored by the fifth floor, and has one of the most unusual creatures I've ever seen by their side. And they're on the 20th floor currently. <laughs> Those are all questions for another day. Although the regulars thing, regulars are oftentimes sponsored if they manage to receive uh, scholarships and and the process is very complicated. But what I think is more interesting is that you're about to go up against House Lindquist's test. Excuse me. Uh, I guess they're calling me champion now. Didn't do too much to earn the title, but I'm curious about their lore. Seems like they're hiding a lot in this city, and I intend to uncover it before I leave. We can't wait to see it. Uh, I'm going to say the conversation continues. She asks you more questions. Um, she's pretty much there as long as you want her to be. But I'm going to say after like an hour, uh, she own texts you, telling you that they got to go soon. Well, it's been enlightening, Janice. I have to get going, but I'm sure this isn't the last time I'm going to see you. It could very well be. You could be dead during the House Lindquist test. That's why <laughs> I believe. Or you could much be dead. Information is Without this lovely little pupper over here, isn't that right? He does oh, not. Yes, it is. He does not. No, no, he likes me. <laughs> he he likes me. He just doesn't, doesn't want to admit it. <laughs> he just doesn't want to admit it. But that's fine. <laughs> no, Janice, I promise I'll see you at some point. I would love nothing more. Okay, recording done. That went so well. Thank you. That's going to be such a good scoop. Wow, I might even get a promotion. That'd be incredible. Uh, Who would have thought I'd meet the uh, team? Wait till you up... Yeah, I'll wait till your story is out before I upload this video. I'm sure you I'll get some information. You don't have to do that. But oh, are you, you trying to censor me, Janice? What? No. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, the last, per last thing I'm against is censoring. Um... All I'm saying is that you can do what you like, because this might be the last video you upload. House Lindquist is scary. Oh. It's scary. You keep saying that, like I'm going somewhere, Janice. Uh, but, just like you doubted me before, you might be doubting me again now. That's all uh, I gotta say. I'll say this as, a, as some friendly advice. Um, <clears throat> don't take them lightly. I don't take anything lightly, Janice. But you Glad know what that entails? I don't take myself lightly either. You do well to remember that. I wish that was recorded. That sounded awesome. Oh, well. Well, hope to meet you soon, okay? Have a good one. And she bolts out of there. I'm going to say everyone eats their breakfast, everything. And I'm going to say everyone just kind of ends up meeting back together. Um, you find out that the best way to get to the mansion is through a train at the northern end of Muji Island. Um, and they do offer transportation to get there faster. Um, they they do have these creatures that pull this carriage. It looks kind of like a horse, but with a lot of hair, like a really shaggy looking horse. And uh, you can get there much faster if you use that method. Uh, do you want to pay for that? How much? It's going to be uh, 500 per person. God. Oh, I don't mind. I really don't mind paying. It's up to you guys, though. 500 per person? Yep. I mean, I can cover it, too. Uh, yeah, I can, like, I'll, I'll pay. Okay. Everybody pays! And I'll cover Still Young, so I'll pay a thousand. Please, I have points. You're fine. Thank you. Absolutely. You know, since you're being so generous, why don't you um, 
Eight. Spot me five. <laughs> I can spot right. you five, Brack. Wait, Eight. don't don't listen to him. Um, the horse, despite being a big, uh, you know, sturdy looking creature, is surprisingly fast as it is taking you through this carriage to the northern end of the island where you board the train. The train, just like it always is, fairly fast, right? Um, but you do have one stop that you have to make before reaching the, the, uh, the main island. And when that happens, a couple regulars board the train, and one of them looks a little familiar. How is it, Laura? Uh, oh, no, no. Woo? Woo. Ah, I knew it! <laughs> Laura walks over to you. That's you, right? Laura? Woo! Laura, that's <laughs> you! You're what are you fighting, doing here? Huh? She takes a seat next to you. I mean... What did you think was gonna happen? We'd be stuck at Artlem or something? <laughs> Your Let tip actually got us into a bit of trouble. Really? Uh, don't worry about it. I appreciate it nonetheless. This is my team, by the way. Guys, Wait. this is Laura. Um, hello everyone. I hope I didn't cause any unnecessary trouble for you. No, it was fun. And glorious. Until we met the Ranker. Which then it got real bad. You met a ranker? She looks at you, Will. Let's not worry about the details. What are you doing here? Well, I heard that there was a certain event being held at House Lindquist, and I was curious what was going on. I probably won't be able to get very far in, but I wanted to see if I could find anything interesting. Well, where's your team? My... <laughs> I don't really have a team. I sort of, teams come and go for me. Well, we just kind of have an extra spot for this test if you want to stick around and come with us. Maybe we should warn her about the dangers of being on our team right now. We don't have any dangers on our team, Damien. Are you like I said, well, wait, we totally do. Like wait, I said, you're, you're asking me to be your 10th member. Really? Oh my god. Is there anybody else that you guys would like to drag onto this team <laughs> while we're at it? <laughs> this, um... Shut up, guys! On, yeah! We would love to have you. I, um... We would have to call this to a vote. Oh, you don't have, have to be bring our bad news. We did, but that's up in the air right now. But sure, mm. let's call it to a vote. I think Laura's pretty capable from what I know of her. And... I'm not sure we can trust her, or not. But, and a good vibe. I say no. Do you want to come, Laura? Let, 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 me, let me even ask you that. I don't even know if you want to join us right now. You know, we only really met briefly, but if there's one thing that I do like, it's the thrill. And to be honest, this sounds a bit more, well, I don't know. Makes more sense than traversing halfway across the 20th floor to a test that probably will be just as dangerous. This is why I can get along with you. Sounds I'm, like she's in. I we are putting her in danger, and we don't really know. She can handle her. herself. No, I I vote, okay. Nobody on the team really cares about putting her in danger. I vote that we let Laura come along with us. What's the worst that could happen? She could die. We could all die. And that's her problem. Oh, thank you. You all clearly need the help as well. And if there's one thing I like to do, it's risk my life while helping others. You heard her. So, like Damien said, vote. Where does everybody stand? I'm why is your against friend, this. Why is your friend looking at me weird? Looking at you, Jong? Got a problem? That's just how he looks. Don't do like I him. have a problem? Yeah, I have a little bit of a problem. It's not with you. He's just upset today. Just don't mind him. Mm. Yeah, just ignore me. Right. In the back of my head, I'm like, this man is going to kill me, bro. <laughs> The train ends up leaving the station and heading towards a very large looking floating island. Even bigger than the one before. The biggest one yet for sure. And you see this beautiful sight at the front of the island. This gigantic, massive, cascading waterfall. And uh, you notice uh, Laura says, oh, Crystal Falls. Very famous. One of the main attractions that House Lindquist owns. Interesting. 
apparently there's a giant crystal cobra, they said, that lives there. Maybe like some you sort of- You said there's uh, a what? They call it the crystal cobra. There's a bounty on its head right now, but I don't know if house- How much? Want people to... Matthew, we don't I care don't how know. much. I do like looking at bounties, but this one was a bit more complicated because it's on House Lindquist territory. Did it look tasty? <laughs> Not particularly, no. Well, now that we're almost there, are you guys going to answer the question or not? Can Laura join us for a bit or no? I'm Baker fine says, with her joining. I'm fine with it. We need all the help we can get or we're going to die. I am against it. I don't know if we can trust her. Okay. Ooh. Well, silly young, you want to hold her hand for a second and see if we can trust her? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she says. Well, silly young seems to have insight into people, or so he claims. I'm not too sure. Yeah. If you don't have anything to hide, it shouldn't be a problem. Sure. She reaches out her hand. Oh, okay. He touches it. You are also strange, but I don't sense anything. Uh, anything? She says. No. Nothing. You can tell he's a little perplexed. Well, there you yeah. have it. No the powers are on the fritz. So, trustworthiness. Back to the vote. So long, you get a vote too, since you're technically part of the team. Um, what do you say? He does get a vote. Yes. I, um, and Leaf says, "Come on, you can do it." Um, I vote yes. Leaf, what about you? Oh, I'm a hundred percent yes because we need all the help we can get. Uh, well, Eden. Eden. Uh, Victor, what do you want to do? I'm 100% yes, because we're screwed. <laughs> we're screwed. I should not have saved... No offense, kid. I shouldn't have saved him. Like, this was... This was a disaster. Ouch. Dang. Uh, I'm uh, regretting everything right now. Shion says, I vote no. So that's... We're pretty. We need. We need everybody to vote. Wait, Jong is, is no as well, right? Jong is no, yeah. Uh, I'm also no. Right. That's, That's three, three, four. Three to four. We need Eden and Brack. Oh, I say yes. Okay. All right. It's decided. Well, it's settled. I guess you're our tenth member, Laura. Welcome to oh. the team. <laughs> I'm honored. Thank you. Hope you don't die. Ooh. I hope so, too. First thing awesome. we said, don't die. That's Jong. Great guy. <laughs> My best bud. I'm <laughs> Damien Frog. Nice to meet you, David Lighthouse user. <laughs> trying to strategize how we get out of this mess. Okay. Of course, Brack Bronson. So he seems says... to like you. I never said all of that. I just ran the logistics. We never mind. need her My... for the numbers. My assumption is wrong. He is quite indifferent towards you. Look, Laura, we're all pretty we're all pretty stressed right now. They're all great people, I promise. And uh we'll look out for each other. Let's just fix yes. our, our mysterious mercenary. And Eden, of course. Nice to meet you, Eden. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Have you all ever and played a, a video game? I didn't introduce Shion. You play oh. video games? <laughs> uh, from time to time. Just think of me as a I'm... guest character. I'm familiar with a couple of video games. All right, NPC. I turn, I got I turn, you. I turn to leave. I really like her. Yeah? Who don't you like at this point? We have Jess, oh. we have Lake, we have oh. Laura. Wait, what's up with oh. all the L's? Now that I think about oh. it. Uh, Lady Linquist. Yeah. Wow. What is up with you and the, the L ladies? Yeah, You're Lamian. Me? Wait. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know what? I thought you would support me on this this one time, but okay. Oh, she she seems nice. She, she seems nice. She did support you. I'm just Stepdaughter saying. is not like in the stepmamas. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say you all continue to talk, and Sil Young reiterates that you will we will have more time, um, and eventually. You do arrive 
at around 2.30. It takes two or three hours by train. But you do arrive, and immediately they put you into another kind of train, but this one actually on land, and it takes you straight through all of this terrain, mountains, the crystal falls to your right. Um, you see buildings, all kinds of buildings and people outside of them and a lot of soldiers. And the train ends up taking you to the mansion. And the mansion begins to rise in the distance. You can slowly start to see it come into view and it is absolutely massive. It looks like it might be a small castle by the looks of it. And there are all kinds of like rooms that are sticking out and balconies and flowers all around it. Uh, and it looks beautiful, but also a little eerie at the same time. Uh, mm -hmm. it, there's something about it that kind of rubs you the wrong way. Uh, Dracula's Castle. <laughs> Dracula's Castle, I'm calling it. And Sil Young says, I never thought I'd come here again. And, uh... It really is a magnificent sight. Oh, sorry, Su Young. No, um, she just whistles. Sorry. It, it, it just looks really good, you know, Su Young. I just, I know you can't see it, but I. Wow. <laughs> I'm really bad fun. at this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear the blood jokes just oh. been coming left The blood right. jokes are out of pocket, bro. Dave, you're struggling. struggling. <laughs> This I'm sorry, not, I'm so insensitive. <laughs> this is not a beautiful place. It is an ugly place. I... I have a question for you, uh, green hair. Um... Are they vampires? <laughs> no. No, they are not vampires, Brack. But do they drink blood? No, they do not drink blood, Damien. Okay. Whew. Is Would there any been... insight you can give to us before we head in there? Do not trust any of them. But we're in this no matter what now. Yeah, yeah. don't remind us. I'm sorry. I mean, you we are. wanted to take the test as soon as possible and get out of this floor, right? So that's what we're doing, right? I think that would put a pretty sizable bounty on our heads. The train stops, the doors open up, and you see soldiers in this dark blue armor standing there, and they are elite, sort of like lined up to the mansion. Oh, delightful. And believe it or not, you actually see Zojak, the guy from the last night, and he's there as well. The champion has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, and you see he has a person holding a camera as well. The champion Wu and his team of. Uh, relax. Is that Please 10? don't film me. Ten. You said ten, right? Individuals. I believe that is a, according to the rules. <laughs> Please continue on. I wave and smile for the camera. <laughs> you know, you got that ticket. I do. You go ahead. You're the champion now. Tired of what? these people. No. I'll deliver the ticket, but you're the champion. The ten of you slowly walk up to the mansion. And as you walk, the soldiers start to file in behind you. And they're just guiding you into these this huge... It's, it's even bigger than you thought when you walk up to it. And this huge door that slowly starts to rise. And inside, house. it's much darker than it was outside. She uh. looks back, just shakes her head and walks in. Really she reminds me of my cool. house. Don't like it. Leaf says, your house? Uh, I mean, my old house. And it's not exactly dark, but the sunlight isn't reaching this area. You see little Shinsu lamps and chandeliers that light the way down this hallway. And there's definitely multiple paths that you could go, um, but the soldiers are guiding you in one specific direction. 
And at this point, after much walking and doors shutting and opening and them leading you through here and there and chandeliers and the like, they lead you to this huge open room, almost like a big ballroom. And at the very end of it, the far corner from where you are, there's a double staircase that meets at the top where there's a balcony all around you above. And the main color that you see inside of here is velvet, like a dark kind of reddish uh, color. And there's portraits of people you don't recognize on the walls. But at the bottom of this staircase, there's another room at the far end adorned in these lavish designs. And at this point, you see a butler walk into the room. He has gray hair, a mustache, and he bows. Welcome, champions, to House Lindquist. At this point, you will have an audience with Lord Signe Lindquist. And you can just tell this place, there's an air of tension, something about it that's just a little off. And So Young is just staring straight ahead. Please do not interrupt the Lord, and please do not insult any of her guests. Right this way. And he motions, and he, he motions you to go forward, and then the soldier at the end opens the door and lets you inside. Do you all follow? Yep. Yes. I'm keeping close to Victor and Sil Young, though. Just yeah, yeah. Positioning. Vic, Sil Young's just going along with all of you, but you can tell Laura as she's, like, looking around, and she seems to be... Uh, liking all of the uh, designs and all. It's another uh, huge room. At the far end of it, there's concrete everywhere, pillars, and at the far end of it, you see a lady in what looks to be a throne. Majestic looking. You can immediately tell that this is the lord of this mansion. I'm gonna go ahead and show on screen. Lord oh, Signe Lindquist. Oh, oh boy. I do declare Please? you looking kind of <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I should have put on this part. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Okay. Um, and she's yeah, don't staring. Yeah, don't get me. everything I need to say. <laughs> and she's just staring. And while most of you instantly are drawn to, to this woman, Damien, for you it's different because you recognize somebody that you never thought you would see in this room. And with that, we're going to end today's session. Oh, damn. What are you mean? Oh, my goodness. Got all the way there. All the way there. <laughs> At least we got to see her, though. And I do declare, I can. <laughs> Look, he spoke in a language you would understand. <laughs> oh boy, I wonder what it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. I'm excited oh. and terrified. <laughs> well, we don't have to wait two weeks to find out. So that that's is good. true. Yeah, that's that's, that's true. good. Yes. Welcome to the twentieth floor, everybody. Welcome oh, to. Boy. House Lindquist. This should be rather entertaining. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So uh, thank you all for watching. This was a blast um, mm -hmm. and for staying tuned for so long. Please don't forget to leave a like before you do go. If we could hit 250 likes, that'd be awesome. Uh, we've been hitting that pretty consistently, and the support has been awesome. So um, definitely do that if you enjoyed. Support everyone here. Their links are down below. Join the Discord if you want to continue the discussion. Uh, you know, what you expect to happen on this new floor with these all, all these new characters. Um, any other thoughts from any of you? Nice this new is... designs, guys. Yeah, yeah. All, yeah. All, yeah. All, they all look yeah. awesome. It's uh, my first time seeing everyone else's, so. Same. Yeah. I Same like man. it a lot. For sure. Y'all look great. Uh, the opening I'll probably release as a separate video tomorrow, uh, so keep that in mind as well. And with that being said, We'll see you next week for our next episode, episode 20, yeah. which is kind of Yes. Who Take will live tomorrow. and who will who die? Will Find out next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow.